Welcome everybody. I'm Gold Leader. I'm joined by Patronus, and it's uh, Wednesday night, Star Wars night at Home Base Games. Here we go. We're whipping out another oldie, and uh, I think Gold Leader would say it's a goodie. I have honestly not played this enough to know one way or the other. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, Star Wars Miniatures was uh, post the Patronus and Gold Leader relationship. Pre. Or pre, I'm pre, sorry. Pre, the Gold Leader relationship. Not post. <laughs> pre. Um, I... I had barely known her when this game was out. Yeah. And I... We had not yet cracked the, the board game floodgates. Yeah. And uh, so this came out... Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember. Rebel Storm. I want It might it, be in your rule book. <laughs> yeah, it, maybe 2002, 2000... No, no, it, it was after that. It was like 2003 because Star Wars TCG came out first. The card game, and that yeah. was 2002. And then when this game came out and got hyped, As a board. this is the Revenge of the Sith board. Ah, okay. Uh, which Revenge of the Sith was, um, I think it was the third set. Okay. So I think this came out probably sometime. Um, this probably came out uh, maybe I see 2004, that time. 2007, 2004 on the stack. All right, yeah, well, there so. you go. So 2004 on some of these first cards. Like, uh, here's a uh, Rebel Storm Palpatine. Yeah, so 2004, I guess, is probably when it came out. Mm -hmm. There was a large community in the Chicagoland area that played um, <clears throat> all different stores, uh, pastimes, uh, the Dice Dojo downtown, uh, for, or formerly Ch or Chicagoland Games. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of friends and a lot of fond memories of this game. This is still my original rule book, my original board. Mm -hmm. This isn't the greatest board for, um, if you're like trying to play really competitively, um, it's the nicest board because it's not paper, True. but it's actually a little bit smaller than the paper maps, which is great. Is relevant for this. <laughs> great for the stream. I apologize. I will turn off my phone. Um, it's great for the stream because it does fit barely, uh, but it is, um, as you'll see, there's a, it's not a super balanced map, but it's it's beautiful, and honestly, Patronus has hardly played. I think she's played one time, I maybe have, twice. I have played one game. And <laughs> I have not played in a very, very long time, but she does play Imperial Salt, so it's not going to be super foreign. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to kind of revisit. Um, I am acquiring some, I got a, a small collection. A lot of the figures we're using are actually Imperial Assault figures because we don't have, I have, a mo I have more cards than I have figures. Correct. <laughs> and honestly, like, we appreciate the look of the Imperial Assault miniatures more than the Watsi miniatures. Yeah, because you painted them Because all. we painted them yeah. in their hard cast resin. So they just look a little bit nicer on the table sure. than the Watsi ones anyway. Yeah, but... For the purists out there, yes, it looks uh, they, bad. They, I'm sure. they like the <laughs> want to see the the actual. And I am getting uh, more miniatures, and we're gonna do this more often because this is a game I just really enjoy. And um, if you're looking for like a super competitive gameplay tactics video, this is not gonna be it. Nope. This is gonna. This be, is gonna be Patronus making lots of mistakes. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be us going through the game. Um, we're basically starting with. Mostly Rebel Storm lists. I think there's like some random, like this is actually just a Rebel Trooper, even though it's a later card. So that's basically what we're playing with in Imperials versus Rebels. Mm -hmm. And th these are not like meta lists. We tried to get like many of the characters as possible. So for my list, I'm simply just running Darth Vader. And this is the. I'm wondering, should we actually put? Yeah, them we on? could we could put the cards we'll up there. We got we got the zoom cam. Off. Yeah, so we'll do it one at a time. All right, so I got Darth Vader. This is the I believe this is the one from the Hoth set. So it's a little bit better of a Darth Vader than the core set Vader. But I actually don't have the the Rebel Storm Vader. So. Yeah, I don't know we're the set symbols. So. We're gonna play him. I'm pretty sure that's what that one is. And then Papa Palpatine. Go for Papa Palpatine. So that's the Rebel Storm one. Does all the lightning. Still a favorite of mine. And Mara Jade, which one of my boos. I love Mara Jade. Yeah. 
Yeah, pretty much every uh, EU fan loves Mara Jade. That's hard to not. <laughs> and then simply two just Imperial officers. Mm -hmm. Grunts. Yep. You always got to have grunts. Yep. Especially, like especially this. in this game. And when, and when you play the more competitive game, people will know, like, uh, these officers aren't the greatest. Uh, they're nowhere near as good as the ones in Imperial Assault. But that's okay. I wanted to go for a little theme, too. So, And then two copies of Imperial Guards to protect my Palpy. Mm -hmm. Then I wanted just one Stormtrooper officer. So we got one of those. And then my last card is simply a Stormtrooper. And I got four of those. So... That's what uh, all these tokens are for. Yeah, we'll just use to, those uh, for activation. Yeah, just instead of like tapping and untapping the card. So when you when we played back in the day, all you did whatever there was this was before you know tokens were all the craze. So we just tapped our cards. But on the stream, you can see we're really tight for space. So mm -hmm. trying to have four stormtrooper cards and her four uh, rebel trooper cards, we would not have enough space for all yeah. that. So I tried to. I, especially like characters like stormtroopers, we're not going to track damage because they have one one hit will kill one. Correct. So yeah. you just we'll just remove a token and remove yep, the figure. Exactly. So my squad is starts with just generic rebel troopers, and I have four of them. in My squad. Rebel commando. Wedge. A Twilic Scout. Han Solo. Leia Organa. Luke. Rebel version. Farm Boy. Farm Boy Luke. Mm -hmm. Obes. Huey. Three PO Cyber Relation. Human Cyborg Relation. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, R2. And then a Bothan Spy. That's my whole list. Yep. And we'll kind of go through maybe just the stats of like what all that all the stats on a card mean, and then just that's about it. I wonder, it can right? we adjust that light to get a little more light in that corner? Is that possible? Yeah, there you go. Usually, don't use the corners that much. Yep. So, um, okay, so those are the two lists. Um, I'm actually kind of going to go through the rules, uh, especially as we play, just because, like I said, this is only her second time. We yes, played, I need a refresher. We played once off camera, and it was a couple weeks ago. These are actually the same lists we played, too, which is why we did them. Mm -hmm. And we honestly, they're not really lists that were made to balance very well. A lot of the figures I chose, chose characters she liked, or at least knew of, and mm -hmm. then in a couple different characters that had different abilities so she could kind of just learn how they work and yep. things like that. So if you haven't played Star Wars Miniatures, um, essentially, I don't know if I can get that on camera. Not even pop, nope. not even close. But I can throw uh, one of these. Yeah, throw a stack card up there. Throw a stack card up here. So the, the, the nuts and bolts to the stack cards are you've got in the top right corner your cost. Um, and then on the left are all your stats. So your hit points, how much damage you can take, your defense is what it takes to get hit, your attack, and your damage. And then in the white text box are all your abilities, your force powers, all of that kind of stuff. So if you don't know, the Star Wars Miniatures game is based off a D20 um, system, just like any other type of role-playing game. And in fact, the Saga Edition Star Wars role-playing game made also by Wizards of the Coast used these minis quite a bit and that's why they did a d20 based system for the game mm -hmm. so it is if i think the rpg came out first right yeah. and then because they were making the for the rpg they decided to make a bb's game 
Basically, yeah. Yeah. Essentially, that's kind of what happened. Mm-hmm. So uh, the the role playing game came out, I believe, first, and then this game came out as like a companion. And I don't think they expected the competitive play to be such a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they expected <laughs> that. They just thought people would buy these things. They'd play the role playing game with them. Um, they would collect them, but I don't think they really expected um, the 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 community to really love the competitive game. And to this day, even like the new Star Wars, like. Uh, Imperial Assault, which came out with a skirmish game. Uh, I don't even... Maybe Legion. I, I don't even know, though. I have not seen um, really a, com- uh, a competitive Star Wars Miniatures game community like this one. So um, it goes to show you how much uh, this game was loved. So basic rules of the game. Each player is going to take turns activating two Two characters, two units. It's Mm -hmm. called an activation. Yep. So you get two activations, you take turns. Units is essentially equivalent to figures? Yeah, characters. So I don't know if I said units. I think it's characters. I think they call it Or I'm just, so like, just for my own refresher, like if I'm activating a trooper, is that one of my troopers, not the whole trooper card? Yep. So essentially a round is each player activates... Um, two characters on their squad. Okay. You two, two characters at a time. It's not okay. like Imperial Assault where it's like you activate groups. There's a deployment groups. group. Yeah. No, there's okay. no groups. Okay. Everything's individual. One stormtrooper is one stormtrooper. You only activate one at a time. Got it. And then um, the, your options for activation are essentially a character can move. Okay. A character can attack. Right. Okay. Makes sense. And then if it has some kind of special ability, um, it can usually do that. And le- like a, a force power in lieu of attacking, usually. No, it'll say on the card if okay. it re- if if the ability you're using, it'll say replaces it. Okay. So like I think I think I've got a couple of those. Yeah, if you have one, you can um, throw it on screen. No, oh, here's one. I got one right here, Mara Jade. So Mara Jade has blaster barrage, which is a force power, and it actually says on there it replaces attacks. Okay. So in lieu of an attack. She can blast a brush instead. Got it. Now, force powers have their own special rules as well. And essentially, with force powers, you can only spend one force power, use one force point per character turn. A turn would be when a character is activating. Okay. Or um, sometimes you can use force powers on your opponent's turn. Okay. Um, like if you're attacking me, I can like deflect with a with a force power. Sure. So like some kind of a defensive force yeah. power. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and so a turn counts as my turn, your turn. So if I used a force power on my turn, if I had a defensive one that could be activated on your turn, I could still use it. Exactly. So you could you could, on your turn you could use your force power, and then on my turn, use a different one. Yeah. So likely. a turn okay. represents like an individual character's turn. Okay. Around is when um, everything's activated. Everything's that's both players. Okay. And then a phase, I think, is when two char- when a player activates two characters. That's a phase. That would be like okay. Your phase, my phase. Yeah. I'm it. pretty sure that's how it works. That's okay. just the terminology on that. Perfect. So force points are pretty simple. Like I said, um, a character could spend force points um, once a turn. Uh, you only get a limited amount of force points unless you have an ability. Mm-hmm. So you have to kind of spend them a little wisely. Later on in the game, they were a little more generous with allowing people to um, reacquire, force. reacquire force points. Palpatine was one of the earliest characters that had the ability to reacquire force points. But you really can't attack without force points, so that kind of makes sense for Palpatine. Sure. Um, generic things that you can spend your force points on. You can spend a force point to re-roll your die. Okay. So you can't do this for, like, initiative. But, like, any die that that character would roll. So if that character is rolling an attack, Mm -hmm. um, a defense, uh, anything that character is rolling, he can spend a force point to re-roll his roll. Got it. Um, You can spend a force point to move two additional squares. So it's kind of like the Imperial Assault Assault thing. Yeah, strain to move two. Yeah, so you can spend a force point to move two additional squares. Okay. Um, that, That... People kind of forget about that rule. It doesn't happen a ton in this yeah, game. Yeah, because force points are probably a little uh, 
more worthwhile. It's not for like the strain where it's like you just get yeah, you it. Just and do you, it and yeah, it doesn't even yeah, really it's matter. It's not this, quite the same. Now remind me, since we're talking about moving two squares, I think with this game, diagonal counts as two movement spaces. Yeah. So right? yeah, we'll we'll get to movement. Okay. But um, the other things you can do with force powers is again, you can use them reroll, use them to move two, and then use and. Abilities. Activator power. Those yep. are your three things that you can do with force points. Okay. I don't think there's really anything else. Um, it, it, again, now as far as movement goes, uh, characters can move six squares. Okay. Every square you move is one point. Yep. To move diagonal is two points. Correct. Okay. So it represents you're moving the same amount of squares as if you were moving. Mm -hmm. That's a very big difference between Imperial Assault and. Correct. Yeah. So let's keep in mind everything you move. Um, and as far as movement goes, there is um, more terrain things in this game. So we'll go over the terrain features. But essentially, yellow squares are what are, are these yellow outline squares. They are hindering terrain, meaning it costs an additional movement point to that terrain. Sure. Um, green terrain, like this table. Yeah, there's a, all around this table. Office chairs and all that stuff. Yeah. That is what's called low object cover. Okay. Low object cover also requires you of uh, the movement point penalty of going into it. Okay. But the additional effect is that it will provide your character cover. Sure. So that is uh, an effect where, like, if you were in the yellow, it's just terrain. You're not getting cover. Mm -hmm. And we'll explain what cover is. And then there are these purple lines, which just essentially represent walls. Anything with this blue right here, these are all doors. Sure. The doors are like Star Trek doors. They're closed, but until you stand in front of them. When your character ends, <laughs> yeah. When a character ends their turn next to a door, it'll open. Okay. When the character moves away, it'll close. Okay. Um, the orange lines. These represent pits. Oh, okay. There's no real way in this game to um, actually Force push like, somebody into a pit. <laughs> there, I think there might be later in the game, but in our our purposes, there's no real way. That was always my favorite thing to do in uh, Swotor. Yeah. was do a knockback of some kind and, and knock, knock somebody off, off of a ledge. Oh, it was so great. No, you would you would have loved playing the Force Unleashed because you get to just basically use Force powers to pick up guys, throw them anywhere you want. That does sound. Cool. It's actually kind of fun. Um, you can't if, if if you have an ability like flight, you can like go you can like go across. Okay. But uh, not like Imperial Assault, you can't just stay flying in the air. Sure. Okay. You, can't you have stay to actually land in a regular spot or you whatever. You have to be able okay. to land. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't think they ever changed that in this game. Okay. And I think that covers all the terrain. Mm hmm I don't see anything else. I don't either. And then attacking. So all characters. Will have on their card their attack value, and then um, every character is assumed to be a range character unless on the card it specifically says melee attack. Sure. So like I put a royal guard up there, his attack value is plus eight, and it actually says melee attack on the on the card. Okay. So. That's how you know he has to be adjacent. Okay. And adjacent in this game is just any two squares next to each other. They can be like this, or they can be diagonal. They can. Okay. It, yeah. Perfect. So that's adjacent. And I think that's pretty much everything. Let's see if we're missing anything. How to defend, maybe? Did you say oh, yeah. rolls? So, yeah, so, and how to actually do an attack? Yeah, so yeah, basically we can throw the guard up here again. So when you make an attack, that's uh, one of the two things you can do on, on a character's turn. Mm -hmm. You simply just roll the d20. Yep. That would be a one. Oh, okay. So that's a good thing that came up. Yep. <laughs> a one in this game is essentially a critical failure, just like in a role-playing game. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you roll a one... Here, I can actually... Say we'll put it in the dice box. Yeah. When you roll a one, yep. you automatically miss. Makes you sense. don't hurt yourself, but it's just a miss. It yeah. doesn't matter if your attack is 20 with Vader mm -hmm. and you would have hit your target. Okay. When you roll a 20, it's an automatic hit no matter what your score is. Okay. Not only that, it doubles your base, it doubles your damage. 
doubles your base damage yeah. or doubles all of your damage? Yeah, your base damage. Okay. So, like, this guy's, this guy would do... He hits for 20, 20 damage. plus so he 20, would he would have 40. Okay. So, critical hits, amazing. Obviously, as now, they if, should be. If you're not fortunate to roll that, and you roll something like this... Hitting it awkwardly. Okay. So, say I rolled a 19. That's a great roll. I would add 19 plus 8... Yep, because it's would, the attack number. It's yep. the attack number, and that number has to equal my opponent's defense. Okay. So whatever my opponent's defense is, I'm trying to add that number to the die roll. Okay, and it's meet, not meet. exceed? Equals, okay. exactly, just equals. Got it. So, so you actually hit. Yep. Perfect. That, okay. that would hit, that I would deal the 20 damage, yep. it would go on that person's stat card, and okay. if their health ever equals the amount of damage, they are a points. defeated unit. Okay. Yep, yep, they're hit points. Okay. So it doesn't have to exceed, it just yeah. meet. Okay. So, and it matters because there are other games um, where exceeding matters, like the mm -hmm. different different variations in For games. For sure, yep. So. All right. When um, you um, play the game too, uh, typically, and this is, this could, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure when you, uh, when you go through setup, um, there was like official setup rules and uh, like gambit rules and things. We're not using gambit in here. Um, this is not going to be a super competitive game. And this is a terrible map for gambit. So we're not going to use gambit. But essentially gambit was a thing for competitive games that essentially people would make like a, almost like a plastic. They would get like a plastic overlay okay. that was cut to a certain um, no, a shape. Okay. Because uh, what they would do, figure out, is from the center of the map, X amount of squares away, if you had a character there at the end of a round, you would score gambit points. Oh. It was a f way to force people to in interact. Sure. Exactly. Okay. So like. Yeah, we're not gonna have that problem. We're gonna. We're definitely. Gonna we're just gonna go in and go kill in each other's stuff. Yeah, and, ro and roll some dice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because in, in the early days, there were certain abilities like overriding things where people would like kill somebody's squad mate, and if they had more points than them, they just, they lock, just, turtle up somewhere. They just lock themselves in a room until yeah. the timer expires, and then that's not really fun game. That's fair. So we're not going to be doing any of that stuff. Nope, for so. sure. So I guess one more quick question. So I know you can attack and move. Or move and attack. You can do it okay. either or. So either way, but you can't split up your movement, right? You can't move, attack, move. You cannot unless... There's a specific keyword that has that. So okay. I think you actually have that on Wedge, which is why I put it in your squad. Wedge and Tilly's has attack. mobile attack, yeah. which specifically is the ability to yeah, be able to attack and move. Yeah, it actually says it there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so perfect. Could you double attack unless you know otherwise? <laughs> I don't know who Jack, Jack, Jack Back is, but he's like, <laughs> how are you just going to ignore Gambit? Cherie, even better. What? He said Gambit, Cherie. Like the oh, X-Men. Hilarious. <laughs> Gambit is a different role. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. No, hilarious, by the way, Jack. Uh -huh. uh, we're, we're just ignoring it because we're just going to kill each other. Yeah, I, like, don't, I don't even we, know we don't, we don't. We don't, we don't yeah. care. Like, w when, we, when she gets more used to playing and she figures out sneaky strategies and how to, like, you know, hide her pieces and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, nope. Yep. I will be making plenty of mistakes this evening. Yeah. Let's just hope I remember that... Uh, Palpatine does AOE damage with lightning this oh, round boy. because I kept forgetting that the last time we played it, I, I just walked into every I movie almost, trap in the I book. almost beat you. Yeah, because I just that. because I just was a complete idiot and kept forgetting yeah. about area damage still, with lightning. You, you still killed me, but barely. <laughs> it was it was way closer than it should have been. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's Jack Ballard. Hey, buddy. <gasps> buddy. Oh, no wonder he was talking about Gambit Shuri. Oh, I miss you. Yeah, miss we you, miss Jack. Jack so much. Um, Jack okay. has been part of our. Diehard Star Wars role playing game group. Pre COVID for like three or four, four years. years. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. I lose track of years now with COVID. Yeah. And then COVID happened and we had to stop playing and it was very sad. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So there is one more thing we have to talk about before we play. We have to talk about line of sight and how all that oh, works. Oh, that's Because that, is, that, that is, is a thing. That is a thing in this game. So essentially, the way line of sight works in this game is the attacking figure. So let's say this little. Stormtrooper or this little Imperial officer. officer when he wants to draw a line of sight it only has to see it takes one corner from its anywhere at one point anywhere in its square okay and it's trying to draw a line that is not interrupted by like a purple wall 
Sure. Or um, a closed door. Closed door. Anything that would intersect with that line. Okay. Um, that would block. That would block essentially okay. would not be good. So like. Hindering doesn't matter. Hindering would not right. ma matter. Um, Cover is relevant, but not for purposes of actually seeing. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So um, a good example would be something like there's a, if I'm trying to shoot this guy right here, there's a purple line here. So there's yeah, all around this, this whole black there's thing. There's no purple. corner in which I could draw a line and, and, see one one corner in my opponent's square okay you have to just see one to have line of sight okay if you see one that means you have line of sight okay but if you can only see one corner that means that character has cover ah okay, okay. so meaning that you can't see the whole character only a part of him is showing sure you can see him but it's gonna be harder to him because uh -huh. part of him is covered up that makes sense so like if he was here so yeah if he was here could you see both of these so two we corners? So we can see, I can, I can pick this square, I can see this corner, right? Yep. But in order to, it's not about seeing two corners, it's not Imperial Assault. Okay. I have to see the whole character. Oh, If any okay. part so of, any if part any of part of it's covered, he okay. has cover. Got it. Okay. Okay. So if he were here, he would unfortunately still have cover. Yeah. Because I couldn't see. The back half over there. The back there. half is, okay. if I were here now, though, I could take. This that front corner. line, yeah, because then you just see I can see down. straight yep. down the line yep. and right here. Okay. Boom. Got it. Now, when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, seeing a figure, you, um, if the only if the only line that you can see is over it runs along a wall, yeah, or nicks a wall, if that's the only point you can see, uh huh, it you can't see it. You can't see the figure. Okay. So, like, if I if the only if the only line I could draw to this figure, right? So let's say I was here, okay. Yep. And well, this is a bad example. Yeah. So if you were just aligned there like that. Okay. If there was a fit, if there was a point. Raise your hand so they can see. Yeah, but I don't know if this is a good example because it's not. I can see multiple points. Okay. But um, there are times, and if it comes up, we'll bring it up. But there are times where. If the only well, if the only point you can see somebody, the the line that you're drawing to see, if the only if that point would actually nick a wall, mm -hmm. and that's the only um, way you can see it, you can't see it. Okay. It can't, that the initial line, the initial line of sight line yeah. cannot nick a wall or a corner or something like okay. that. I mean, maybe an example would be if someone was like inside this turbo lift and somebody was right outside it or something. Would that be an example mm, of um, not being able to see. Not if you were had a gun because you could just take this corner and you can okay. you can see everything. Okay, so, so never mind. Nah. It, it, it's it's a rare. More, evidently, it's a more <laughs> it's a more narrow case corner. Okay, uh, and the other main rule that we just need to know is that if a character has cover. It cannot be attacked unless it's the closest character. Okay. So that that's an important rule. So like, if you have a guy here, and this guy is shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a say you have this guy is here, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to shoot this guy because this guy's only got one health left. Uh huh. Unfortunately, this because guy has covered. cover. Uh huh. And he is one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six away. Mm -hmm. This guy is only one, two, three. Uh huh. He is the closest figure, so you you have to shoot him. He does not count as the closest. Okay, because he's in cover. All right. Yeah. So th that that is a way to protect your weaker figures. Is you could kind of put them back in cover, and then put your stronger figures in front who are closer, and then they have to attack your closer figures. Okay. The only and there are rules that get away with that, like accurate shot, which you have on Han Solo. Accurate shot allows you to attack and any figure. Yep. Is, it doesn't matter if they're the closest. Okay. So those are really the only rules. I mean, there's there might be little minutia things that come up, but that's everything you At need to learn potatoes. how to play. So the the way you start the game is you just roll the d20. Whoever rolls higher gets to go first. Okay, so you roll first. So I roll the 12, 12. and then for you, 
16. Right. And so... actually, when you make that roll, uh -huh. that's called the initiative roll. Okay. It happens at the start of every round. Oh, okay. And when you win the initiative, you actually get to choose whether you go first or you make your opponent go first. Okay. So often you're gonna you're gonna win the initiative early. You're gonna want to make them go first. Right, and make them make a move. And then when you get close into fighting you or you want to shoot first. something, you want to attack first. Yes, that yeah. makes sense. So okay, so I'll defer. Yep. So you defer to me, and I'm gonna go first, and I'm not gonna be uh, not gonna be bashful about it. So let's. Um, Let's move. Let's move Darth Vader. So one, two, three, and I always have to make this decision. I hate this map. Well, where I, how I want to uh, traverse this map. <laughs> Feel like I I'll would... say I'll probably make this one a little bit bloodier. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Because I don't one, want this two, to go for three, three hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. So I'm gonna move Darth Vader there. So perfect Actually, example. You can't double move. Any character can double move. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's a great point. So, yeah. So, I can do two things. So, I can move and attack or attack and move. I can also just move twice. Yeah. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. And then if I wanted, I could spend force points here. And move more. And I can move two additional squares. Um, I'm not going to spend any force points. That is one character's activation. So, um, these little tokens we have, you probably can't even see them on camera. But that means that character is ready to go. This means that character is activated. Yeah. So we're just going to flip yeah. Vader. It'll be easier for us to see up here than it is for you down there. Yep, and then we're going to move somebody else. Okay. Let's move... Let's move Mara Jade, the Emperor's Hand. So she's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Question on adjacency with doors. Yes. Uh, does diagonal count as adjacent, or do you have to actually be in front of it? In this game, diagonal would be adjacent. Okay. So you just have to be... Adjacent is just being next to. Okay. It's not Imperial Salt, which perfect. is confusing. Yep. There's little rules differences here and there, so that's why that's perfect. That's, that's a good exactly question. exactly what I wanted to know. All right. So let's... And if uh, anyone else is in uh, chat and has questions, please uh, interact. It's one of the best parts about doing these streams. Mm -hmm. Jack, I... have you ever played Star Wars Miniatures? I don't know if you have. I, I know I haven't played with you. I think I'm going to activate an R2. I think R2 has to do his override thing and leave a door at the end of the turn, yeah. Yeah, so yes, it's at the end Door of the turn. Door that he can see. Yep. Do, I guess that's relevant for seeing purposes. Mm -hmm. Do friendlies block line of sight? Uh, they don't block line of sight. They provide cover. Got it. So I... he can literally see it from where he's right at right now. Correct. Yep, exactly. So if so... he wanted just to like hang back and open the door for his whole team. He yeah, can just do exactly. That. So, or he can move and then open the door, or yeah. however you want. So Yeah, I think you would two, like uh, Star Wars four, Miniatures, Jack, because two, three, four, um, in many ways it's a lot simpler. And it's based off two, the D20 three, system, six, which is pretty cool. Eight, 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 eight. Is that far? I don't know. I mean, you can shoot unlimited range in this game, right? I can, but the guys that I have that can shoot unlimited range right now are stormtroopers. Well, so, that's fine. I'm just gonna move R2 here. I think that's like six-ish spaces because there's a little wall right here, but it's, it's fine. not even. It's, it's like one. It's two, less three, than twelve four. is really what it amounts to. So then he's gonna use his override ability. Okay. Where at the end of the turn, he can designate one door that he can see as open or closed, and it will remain so until the end of his next turn. Okay. Uh, what did you do with all the little sh orange shield tokens? Orange shield tokens. They were all right here. Yeah, I was going to use one for the override to designate the door as open. Oh, okay. That's fine. I guess we could do that. So this door is... Do you want... Yeah, white like to be a, open yeah, or white to be yeah white open yeah. okay so that door is open yeah we've opened that door okay. or you, r2 has opened that door yes okay damage i'll grab her shields okay so that was r2's activation 
Thanks, Kevin. I completely get it. I appreciate you uh, just stopping in and saying hi, even if it's for a second. All our videos, by the way, if you or haven't seen any before, we do post everything on YouTube afterwards. So if you have time and you want to watch a little bit here, watch a little bit there, you can do that. Then I'm going to move one of my rebel trooper guys. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Are you moving the unbased one? Because I marked them all. Yep, that's fine. Then, okay, one, two, three. Well, sure, that's fine. He'll move here. Okay. We got some stormtroopers going in the room. Rebel Troopers. Rebel Troopers. Okay, that is fine. Um, I am going to... Hmm. So Darth Vader has a cool ability. He gives all of my troopers, followers, uh, plus six defense. Oh, okay. So, so anyone that has a trooper in mm -hmm. its subtype, essentially? Yep, and it's just follower. So in this game, there are two types of characters. There are commanders, and there are followers. Oh, if enough. you have a commander ability, you are a commander. If you don't have a commander ability, you're a follower. That's pretty it's simple. It's pretty simple. All right. Fair enough. So um, I think I'm going to be a little probably a little more cavalier than I should be with my stormtroopers since they do get that bonus and make it a little harder to hit. So I'm going to um, I'm going to activate one of my stormtroopers. Let's activate this guy. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. Um, cover maybe. 11, 12. That will give me some cover. Mm-hmm. And we'll kind of, as, oh, actually, as, as we're moving into that's hindering... The wrong, that's the wrong character. That's oh, the Stormtrooper officer. As so, we're moving into hindering or as one, we're calling two, out cover, we'll three, point it out on the map because it's obviously hard for you guys ten, to see on the map. Twelve. All right. So that guy is activated. And then another one? we're going to activate another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that was number three, so we'll three over. You got it. And I'm done. All right. Let's. Yeah, I'm all about podcasting at work and VOD. Do some more Rebel Troopers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Unfortunately, there's no uh, narrow hallway to simulate my Darth Vader coming down at those Rebel <laughs> Troopers. <laughs> One, two, oops, there's a door. There's actually a wall here. So two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so if you're new to uh, Imperial uh, or new to Star Wars miniatures, um, one of the big strategies is and important things is like activations. Um, activations representing each character you have. Usually, you, whoever has more has an advantage because once an opponent has activated all their characters, mm -hmm. then that person is kind of free to move their characters around without the fear of retaliation. Sure. So it's just something to keep in mind. Yep, that's fair. Um, my turn, huh? Yep. Hmm. Okay. So I think we're going to move some more troopers. So let's move trooper number one. And he's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. So and he moved into actually... Yeah, he's in the... Like this whole little area here is all green. Yeah. So it was an extra movement point to move that one Yeah, space. he's basically in some kind of table or something. Yep. Some refuse. Yep. And then Stormtrooper number two is going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Got it. So he's also going to hang out in some cover. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna move my last rebel trooper down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and twelve. And then I'm gonna move my Twilix Scout. One, two, ten. 11, I'll probably just have him here. 1, 2, 3, and 11. That's fine. Okay. So my turn. Easy to get. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. I'm gonna have this guy actually just be here. Nine, ten. Okay, so Clump him up a let's move the red based one. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Gonna hang out and point. Mm hmm. And then let's move this other one. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And you're up. Let's move my Bothan spy. All here is all right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's move a little rubble command. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, and twelve. Okay. Alrighty. And let's move Palpatine. Sure. So um actually let's not move Palpatine yet. Let's move my Royal Guards here. And how do we want to move bad boy? They're kind of just meat shields. It's true. That most Royal Guards tend to have that. Actually, role. you know what? We are gonna move Palpatine first. He has higher defense. So uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Oops, I was. Okay, so. Other side of the wall from our Jade. Yep. And then we'll move one of these guards. So it's the black one. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 11, 12. And then I'm done. Okay. So. I am going to activate. Yeah, Patronus actually painted these pretty awesome looking. I don't think I painted these ones. They're based. I think you did. No, those are the ones we got. I painted that other one. Oh, uh, you painted the other one. Okay. Yeah. I haven't uh, figured out how to do fancy bases yet. It's just buying. It's just, it's not how buying to do the things. You and... just buy it and you put glue and it sticks to the base. Yep. Some of them, it's like the glue's already on. You pull it off the thing and you just put a little glue on it. Yeah. It's pretty easy. Yep. The painting's the much harder part. That is a true statement. Okay. So I'm going to activate. Let's activate obes. Two, four, five, six, and come in here, and we'll put Luke with him. So.
So there is right in front of these guys, there's a red line right here. Mm -hmm. These are essentially little escape pods. And then there's the entrance escape pod area. All right, so I activated Obes and Luke. Okay. And I'll, I only have two characters left. So let's move this other. So I guess, do you have the opportunity to like defer until we have an equal number oh, of yeah. activations? You know, is that, a, that is, is that a rule? That is a rule. I can, if I have, if it's my turn, uh -huh. and it's a good that you asked that, it's my turn and I have less activations than you, I can pass. Okay. So I will do that just to do yeah. it for the stream. I will Makes pass. Makes sense. Okay. Because so I have two activations left. Yep. So let's go with Chewy. Which where's his card here? That's and I don't know if that was an original rule. I think that was rule that happened later on. Maybe two, four, five, for, six, uh, seven, competitive eight, balance. Ten. Let's move on first. There's actually no way I could possibly shoot them if you move over there. So they're pretty safe. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, you're ten, right? You could just go eleven, twelve, and put them right there. Yeah, I was just thinking of having Chewy by him. Oh, sure. Do that. Okay, and then two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Mm hmm. Okay, and that was Han. So I have three characters left. Sure. So can you defer again? Yeah, I can pass okay. one of my actions. Okay. Um, you have three left? Three total. And I have two? Mm hmm Yeah, I think I can pass. Okay. I'll go with C-3PO. Two, four, I'm doing that because there's a little mm -hmm. wall right here. So two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure. Here. Creepio. Oh, I flipped it right. And then let's do wedge, I guess. One, two, four, six, seven, twelve. Then all I have left is Leia. Yep, so I'm just going to move my last two. Mm -hmm. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 1, or 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Put him back here. Okay. And then I will just activate Leia, who's my last character. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. Right back in here. All okay. right. Yeah, so that so was the end of a round. That was the end of a round. Yep. Everyone took turns activating mm -hmm. two. We did some passing. Yep. And um, yeah. So new round. We uh, flip all our tokens over. Okay. And then we roll for initiative. All so right. I will roll first. Yep. I got an initiative 18. Oh, okay. And you have an initiative 7. Okay, so you get to choose. I will let you go first. Well, let me go first. All right. So. Oh, and actually, I forgot about this. At least to show, though. So, Emperor Palpatine is one of the few early figures that has the Force of new Renewal ability. Okay. Which essentially just says after he, I think it's after or before. Story. Um, he gets one force each time he activates. So when he activates, he gains a force. So he so would at the start actually of his be. Activation. Yeah, he would actually be at five. Okay. And I know it's hard to see, so yep. I just want to show people why it was at five. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm going first. So let's move. Let's move R2. So he can go one, two, three, four, five. So question, because this, this, these three squares right here are hindering. 
Can you diagonal Can skip I diagonal it? skip? 100%. And it's still only two movement points? Yep. There's no penalty? Okay, yep. so one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Actually, that's green, so it would be double movement. So 11. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. So you probably don't here. want him to be there. He just could get shot by like my whole team. Can you shoot that far? Yes. Yeah, Even if he's range. in cover? Yeah. Yeah. He's, as long as he's not the closest, if you guys get closer, you're better off just putting him in that room. Okay. And then you can use him to open this door right, if you want. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. You six, don't have to open the door, but you can. Eight, 10. He can, he can he'll go into cover sure. for 12. Yeah. And then, yeah, he'll open this door over here. Okay, so that door's not so this open. this one's closed. Yep. So we can shoot. It'll be a blah, blah. Yep. Okay. So that was one figure. And then my second figure that I will activate. Let's... Just do, let's move my scout. So one, one, three, five. I'll move right over here. Done. Okay, so for me then, um, so yeah, it's interesting. So now it's like I can see R2-D2, but R2-D2 would not be the closest character, and he's in cover, so I would have to shoot like that Twilight that's standing by the door there um, if I wanted to shoot him. Mm -hmm. um, They're both actually going to be. Cover most likely. I guess it depends on how you move well, down this. Pipe. Yeah, they're both in cover. Yeah, but I, but right now R two is a little farther away than him. So if they're both in cover, I would shoot the closest one. Okay, that's how cover works. Okay, cover means you can't shoot unless they're the closest. Okay, so and let, but it doesn't matter if the closest. It, it, like if there's a figure in cover and a figure not in cover, I can shoot whichever one is. I can shoot the the cover one only if it's the closest. But if okay. they're the same, I can pick either one. Okay. Okay. So, I think we want to... What do we want to do? Let's see. So we got some fun Stormtrooper officer things. Um, really don't want them to get shot. So let's do this. Let's move this stormtrooper from the back. So this would be two, four, six. This stormtrooper is going to go two, four, six in cover. And he's just going to take a simple shot at the. Let's shoot at the Twi'lek. Okay. So we got a little laser pointer here, so you can just see. I I can see the the twilight. I can see one one. Which one is activating? It's this head. This guy number guy. number three. Okay. So he's gonna shoot. Um, he moved, so he won't get the bonus from the officer, which the officer essentially says trooper followers within six squares gets plus three attack if they do not move. But okay. he moved, so he won't get that bonus. Um, he will just simply. Roll at four attack power. Okay. I'm gonna roll a die. You got an, a six, so okay. ten. That's not gonna hit. What's your defense? Sixteen. So plus you have four defense when you're in cover. Oh. That's a rule. So when you're in cover, okay. you get plus four defense. So that would be at twenty. So I would have needed a pretty high roll there to hit him. Okay. So that would be one activation. Mm-hmm. The next activation will be to shoot with Stormtrooper number one. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to shoot. Um, I'm just going to pass. I have less than you. Sure. So you are. Um, can you do that like mid 
mid face. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. So then maybe just activate your second character. Great question. <laughs> I actually don't know. I, it's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> I will activate and I'll just shoot. And okay. this guy's and now he will get the bonus from the stormtrooper. So he's okay. gonna be rolling at plus seven. Plus seven, okay. Fifteen. So that would be twenty two. Okay. And he'll hit. Okay. How much damage? Uh ten damage. Ten. Okay. Use markers as damage, and that is my out so he has 20 hit points so he's taking yep all right so two stormtroopers have activated all right let's hmm decisions i guess i will I don't really want to like move my chuds where you can just move them with your other guys. As I said, where the strategy was is to move the, um, you know, you 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 could um, in this map, you're always trying to like hide, but there's not in any map you're trying to hide so you can get shot and you want to get as close as you can without getting shot but this map is not possible yeah there's just a massive free-for-all in the middle so. yeah it, yeah i mean there's just so few places to hide yeah. um all right well so if it, in that scenario what you would want to do the strategy would be is you would take like your your highest defense characters with the most health mm -hmm. you would put them in front so they're the closest target and then you keep everything else in cover and that way Got Nothing it. else can get shot unless they have accurate shot, which I do have accurate shot. I don't think I actually have accurate shot in my squad. It's kind of bad, but Rebel Storm, you don't have a lot of accurate shot. Um, yeah, Mara Jade doesn't have it. I guess it would be amazing if she did because she then uh, used Blaster Barrage with accurate shot and hit yeah. a million things. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to YOLO and die most likely. So I'll move... Um, I mean, you can move like Obi Wan. Yeah, he has a million hit points. You can move, move Chewbacca. So, and um, you can still move them into cover, which will you know move them and and hide them hide them so that they're in cover and stuff. Right, but they're still gonna get attacked. Right, but they get plus four defense. Yeah. Um. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you also have this room over here that you could open. With R2. So you could always do the whole put R2 here kind well, of Well, he's thing. already activated. Uh, in this round? Yeah, he went first. Oh, he. Did? Yeah, that, he opened this door. He did that. He opened that door at the end of the last turn. No, he, he opened this turn. door first, and then he opened this door oh, second. Oh, oh, we're in round two. That's yes. right. My apologies. <laughs> I did it right. Um, so yeah, no, I mean, none of those guys can, like, they'd have to, Wait at the end of their turn, they'd have to be able to do it. So yeah. that's, yeah. That's, well, that's you a could, couple. you could plant a guy here with high defense, because this would be adjacent, and that's a green square. That would open the door for the rest of the team, and then you could hide the guys in here. I guess that's and true. That's one thing you could, it's just a strategy. Yeah. Or you could also put a sacrificial lamb there, like a C-3PO, who's worth very little points, and, yeah, you know, it just... Um, just a thought. So the problem is, though, if you put somebody here to to open this door for everybody else, it stays open because I have somebody here. Yeah, for the round. Yeah. 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 So there's really no. But I mean, you're you're at least the guys are getting closer. They're in cover, whereas in the middle of the room, there is nothing. Like you put guys out here, they're just free for all yellow. Yeah. There's a big reason why I'm, for the most part, avoiding the middle of the room. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll just go with... That's why this match is brutal, because if, like, Gambit were here and you're all trying to score points, it's just like... Yeah. Um, I'll just go with... Chewie, I guess. Sure. And I already flipped his thing. So I guess let's do... Nine. 
I said. Yep. It's never going to be perfect. And, and again, then... we're playing casually, so you're never going to make every optimal move. And if uh, you do, we'll be here for four hours. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven, nine, ten. All for Obes. Okay. Okay. And it's my turn. So I like I like this. Let's move Bader. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eleven. Oh. Hi. Do it. Shh. <laughs> It means he might get shot this turn, but that's okay. All right. So then... that's Vader. And then we're going to move. One, two, four. All right, let's move this Stormtrooper. Yeah. This trooper. Oh, this trooper can shoot without moving. So let's do that first. Okay. Um, let's shoot first. And I think I could still only shoot this guy because he's the closest. Yeah. So let's shoot that guy with a roll with a dice of seven. Okay. Fourteen. That's nope. a miss. And then now he's going to move. And I think what he's going to do is he's going to go two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Make a line of stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. And then I'm done. That's number two. Yep. So I move Vader and I move that guy. Okay. So let's move. Oh, Leia has a commander Four, effect. What is her commander? She doesn't uh, make... She oh, allows the nine uniques to do a save. Oh, okay. And does potentially she, come it, back. Was it... Be, oh, does it have to be within a certain range? Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's why she's not with the yep. uh, sacrificial lambs. Yeah. Um, okay, so I will... Double move Leia. Go for so it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, don't want to do that because there's a rule we didn't talk about. Um, attack of opportunity. Oh. So if you get next to Vader and then you move away from Vader, uh -huh. Vader will get a free attack against you. Away as in no longer adjacent? Correct. Okay. That's the rule. So if I danced around him. You'd be okay. I'd be okay. Right. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eleven, twelve. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could still do this way as long as you just didn't get away from a yeah. adjacent. Okay. So that was Leia. And then let's do see So two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. What is his thing? So his thing he is draws draw fire, fire from anybody within six. Okay. And he obviously works a little better when he's next to R2. -T R2 right, because R2 can, it can heal him. Yeah, yeah but, I mean, but I mean, it is. Th that ship has sailed. Yeah. Um, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. At the fastest. Two, five. Six. Go on. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he'll come here. He's like, thanks for the for the coverings, Master. Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm All right. That was two. That was two. All right, so my I have one stormtrooper left all the way back here. Um, and you're Captain Guy. And my captain guy. 
the captain guy kind of just wants to get in the middle of all these guys and help them fire. So, um, figures don't block line of sight, so he'll he'll take a pop shot at this guy before okay. he moves. Eighteen. Oh. Um, Sad face. 18 plus the captain is 8. So, yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's going to hit him for 10 damage. Okay, so that'll be our kill first him, casualty. But we all use Leia's commander effect. commander effect. Yeah, it might be moot. So, he's a non unique dude. He's and, a follower. Yeah. yeah, and when he would be defeated, I can roll do a save roll. And if I get 16 or higher, rather than being discarded, he returns to play with full health. Yeah, which is pretty cool. And if you've ever played like any D20 role playing, save rolls are, you know, something you make D&D all the time. It's like a roll you have to make for something to succeed. Mm -hmm. so, so do a save roll and roll 16. 10. Ten. He's dead. He's a dead dead spotter. All right. Okay. First blood. Yeah, he right. has an ability similar to the officers where adjacent guy, if he can choose to skip an attack and have anybody adjacent to him have a better attack. Nice, okay. So I was trying to like get him into a position to spot, to spot yeah. and then move everybody else, do a shot after they all went, yeah. and then the next yeah. turn, like, but apparently yeah, that but didn't work out so well. It didn't work out because he was, <laughs> um, it didn't work out because he was the closest enemy, and I got a, a lucky roll, yep. you know. So, all right, I'm going to use this guy. He's going to go two, four, five. So he's just finishing his turn. That's the officer. Captain. Cap uh, Stormtrooper officer. Oh, is what he calls. Ah, okay. There's a stormtrooper officer and an, uh, and a um, imperial officer. Got it. And then that was was that two activations or was that just one? I think it was, it was just, just one. one. Yeah. Okay. And then hmm. let's do this officer who will. He can't. Well, he can see our. You know, he, can he can see this guy. He, no, that guy has stealth. Right, so he but does not matter? Stealth means that um, um, he is not considered the closest character. Okay. So I would have to shoot somebody else with cover. Okay. Because he would not be counted as the closest character. Okay. So um, I could. I guess I basically. I would have to move. So I'm gonna move. So two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh wait, yeah, that's right, because I went straight. And from his corner there, he can see R two, but man, it's gonna be a tough shot. Uh, I don't actually. Can, oh, I guess you can see that one corner. Let's see. But all, you, but you clip that wall, so. If that's the truth, that I can't see him. That would be. Yep, I cannot see him because I clipped that wall. So that yep, was the and rule. that corner is the only one of R twos that yep, you can see. That's true. And that is your that's only corner. And that was the rule we were talking about. Yeah, so there here we go. go. Okay. So here we go. So I will shoot that. Now I can see this guy, the the rebel trooper mm -hmm. behind R two. Yep. So I'll shoot him. Okay. So it's going to be one? yes okay. that one. So it's going to be. But is he in cover? He's in cover, but okay. he's the closest figure I can see. Okay. So but that's I just want to know if he had the plus four defense. Yep, because okay. I actually, so, well, we should count, because my guy could also see Chewbacca. Mm -hmm. Chewbacca's yeah, also in cover, just, yeah. so, so we just got to see. One, two, three, four. Two, is it by It's by line, movement. Is it by movement? Okay, so two, four, you six. You don't count. Right. Eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yep. Two, four, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So I have to shoot Chewbacca. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna shoot Chewbacca, which is even worse, because okay. I'm sure Chewbacca has a lot more defense. Chewie has. Oh. I can't see it with the glare. Critical. I rolled is a it? critical. It's a twenty. Here, maybe adjust that light. Do we have another die? It's a better die. It's just, it's the dice are shiny, so it's just catching glare. Yeah, I don't know. So you got a critical. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, um, that, that's, a, that's a 20. So Chewie's defense. So it's going to hit. 
Okay, so so his defense is irrelevant. Yep, yeah, because it's just okay. an automatic hit. But his defense would be whatever his defense is plus four. Seventeen plus four. Okay. It would be twenty-one. Okay. Um, my guy luckily only has a base of ten, so All it's right. only a twenty damage hit. Still, the critical, but it's yeah. Chewie still has a lot of health. I think he 80. is. 100, huh? right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, all, all my guys have like 10 or 20. Well, all else. my chuds are 10 or 20, <laughs> sure, but like he's yeah. a main character. Yeah. All right. How much health does Vader have? Uh, Vader has a lot. Yeah. Vader has 140. Uh, yeah, but he's also Darth Vader. <laughs> so, sacrifices. Yeah. All right. And was that two dudes? Yep. Okay. So. Two setback dice. <laughs> Touche. 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 Um, all right. So I guess let's go with. So have all of your troopers activated? Um, all the ones on orange bases have activated. Okay. The one in the back on the black base has not. Okay. Basically, this whole front row of dudes have activated. And then this guy has not? Yep. These two have not okay, activated. So I don't quite want to like, go them, with the team. I'll turn them backwards. That's fine. You so here's the thing. You could start moving those guys. These are all of my shooters. These are the only two shooters I have left. Right. And um, these two shooters, they only hit for base ten damage, and they have pretty low. Right, but attack. all of these guys have ten health. Yeah, so you want to be careful with. So them. like, but the I ones, don't want to just. You don't want to move the ones with ten health for sure. You want right. to move the ones with more health. Which um, I don't. I think all of these guys only have ten. Uh, the Boffin maybe, and the, the I know the Commando has more. Uh, the Bothan the has Bothan 10. The Bothan has 10. All of the Rebels are The Commando has 10. 40. The Commando has 40. Okay. Guy the green jacket. This guy. Okay. Yeah. So I also have this ability. We got excited. My uh, commander has an ability that says, at the end of this character's turn, one non-unique follower within six years may make an immediate attack. Oh, okay. So that's so his gonna... uh, ability. So I'm going to give the Stormtrooper just standing next to him. A, f a free attack. And uh, okay. he'll just attack Chewbacca. Yep. No more 20s. Unless you're rolling them for me. <laughs> I wonder if... 15? Mm, 15. No. That's going to be a miss because it's 19. It's uh, a hit. Does he have plus attack? Oh, though? he does. Because you still might hit. Because you have to hit... You have to get to 20. He has... Um, yeah. He has plus 3 from the commander. From the officer. So it would be 15 plus 4 is 19 plus 3 is 20. 10 damage. Okay. I'll take it. All right. And now that that officer's done, and I think that was two activations, right? I did a, the stormtrooper and the officer. I, have no idea. I believe so. So I'm done. All right. So we'll move this guy. So let's see. Two. Four. Oh no, that's still green, right? It's so all that's, green, yeah. So that's three. And there's also something five. to know with the low object cover, which is pretty cool. So when you're in cover, the green low object cover, mm -hmm. there is a rule in the game that says if your character is in low object cover uh -huh. and it's attacking, okay, and it's only attacking through one square of low object cover, it is not that square does not count as cover um, for, for your, your opponent. opponent. Oh, so, okay. like, if you were to basically place this guy in the middle here, sure, and he, he, it's essentially representing them popping up from a table Got it. or behind something to okay. shoot, and they're getting the benefit of cover, and you're not. Got so it. you could literally post somebody here or okay. here. They could shoot with cover, and they would have cover. Got but it. then, my guy. My yeah. guys, what so it, but, for for you guys, basically with the art of this conference table, like all of the, the chairs and has, the table have all cover. have cover. Yeah, this does not have cover. Yeah, these two front squares yeah. don't. Um, okay. It's so, not really relevant right now because yeah. basically all my guys are standing in cover. Right. So I mean, they would still have cover. Yeah. But if you if I had somebody trying to run out here in the open right. and try to shoot, then mm -hmm. you would have cover and I wouldn't. Okay. So, I guess we'll just do, that's three. Yeah, and that guy has stealth. So, what's cool about that guy is you could kind of put him out, like, into yeah. these areas. Right. And he would not count as the closest um, figure that could be attacked mm -hmm. because he has stealth. 
So five, seven, nine. Like, perfect. He could sit there and hold that door, and if he was here or here, hold that door, and he can't get attacked because he has, he has stealth. Right. So if I... So nine, eleven. Yeah. Eleven would hold that door open, so then you could... Move R2. Move R2 if you wanted. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that's that guy in here. And I don't want to move any of these guys yet because they have 10 health and he still has two guys yeah, that so can shoot. So we'll move um, Wedge, I guess. Sure. Wedge the card? Yeah. Uh, right here. All right. So one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And 11, 12. Wedge also has mobile attack, too, so it's something to keep in mind. You can yep. always just pop him in and out and shoot things. Yep. Mm -hmm. But it looks like we're going up on the team up Vader plan. I think that's my only chance of getting him out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Vader's so, tough. So, you okay. know, take down what you can, yeah. what you can do. He's right. just a, such a juicy target over there, and if everybody attacks him, maybe I take him out? I don't know. It might literally take my whole squad multiple turns to take out Vader. Okay. That was two figures from Dangerous, but it could be fun. This is just gonna be because at some point I'm gonna move all these guys this way and they're just gonna get annihilated. <laughs> yeah, I so. just want to do it and make use of her. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and right. I was, yeah, that was, I, have, yeah. I was on the other side of him. So okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm going to use one of Palpatine's force points. Yeah. Yeah. So for her only, or just in general? For anybody. Oh, is that an ability that he has? Yep. So Palpatine has a commander effect, and we'll put it up on the camera. And you can read that. He basically allows other people to use characters his characters in your squad can spend Emperor Palpatine's force points. A character still can't spend force points more than once per turn, and can't combine it with. Okay. So, he's so just... it still counts as just the one that you can spend. But he can renew it, so it's... Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven, eight. Okay. And then... So not shooting. Okay. Oh, she's going to shoot. I'm using the two points oh, from Palpatine from to, move, okay. to move... Remember, we said he could move two squares. That's why I wasn't understanding yep. what you were using. So I'm moving so. to move eight. Okay. And then I'm going to spend one of her force points... To do her special ability, which is Blaster Barrage, which says that she replaces attacks and she can attack each legal target once. Yikes. It's not as many as you think, because the key on there is legal targets. So characters that are in cover have to be the closest uh, figure for being a legal target. So, like, so she can't hit Leia. She can't hit Leia, can't Obi. hit Obi-Wan, okay. can't hit Han Solo, can't okay. hit... There's a lot of... I'm basically going to get three attacks. Okay. Off. I mean, so, three is still good. Three's still good. <laughs> right. So this is probably my best chance of using it. Yeah. So I'm going to use her, and I'm going to shoot uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right at um, C-3PO. C3PO. Okay. And so she's going to roll... Um, she has a nine attack. She also has some other abilities. Um, Hand of the Emperor. This character can spend her force points 
once per turn and spend the Emperor's War Voids once per turn. Is Blaster, wait, is, oh, I was in this, I was just thinking, I was like, wait, can she even do her barrage? Yeah. If she spent his, okay. I forgot to Only explain Only because it. of that, okay. Because of the, because of yeah. her Hand of the Emperor ability. So okay. I, I kind of wanted to do this so I could kind of show off all the cool sure. things that you could do. I was, I was just remembering, yep. I was like, oh, wait, that card said you can't. Can and then she also has one. Cunning Attack. It says this character gets plus four attack and plus ten damage against an enemy who Was has not, not activated. Yep. So I unfortunately because I didn't do it right away. Yeah. I won't get that. But if she goes first next round, she could do it again and mm -hmm. then... For sure. So all right. C3 PL. Yep. I got a 3. His defense is So that's a 15. whopping 12. Okay, so you missed C3 PL. Yep, and I can't spend a force point to reroll cuz I spent, spent a four, I already spent two force points on this turn, right. one for Palpatine and one for her. Yep. So nope. No reroll. So then we're going to roll at Wedge. Um, Let's see. Wedge, when, he has an evade ability. When hit by an attack yep. from a non-adjacent enemy, this character takes no damage with a save of 11. Yep. Okay. So, so I roll like, first. And I like C-3PO can be a really distracting target and basically yes. say, Draw attack fire. me instead. Yes. Um, however, I think with Wedge having, having that evade, evade ability... I'd rather just take the evade. Yeah, I'd rather just try yep. and that makes make the 50-50 And I can see him because I can just go... If we use the laser pointer, like straight down oh, here, yeah. I could see everything yep. straight. So I can yeah, see, you can his, see whole, his whole square. Whole square. Yep. No problem. So we're going to roll here. Oh my gosh. 20. That's a 20. Roll of the crits. All right. But so you could evade. I could evade still the crit, right? In yes. Theory? 100%. Okay. So I have to hit 11 or higher on my save. I'm going to let you roll it because I don't want to be blamed. And then you can just show it on the camera. 18! <laughs> that, that was Victory V! That was definitely an 18. <laughs> so you evaded a critical. Yes! How exciting was that? Yes! <laughs> All right, and then... Um, one, 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 two, <laughs> or, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's not the closest. And he's in cover, so I can't attack him. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, four, five, six. Ah, uh, okay. See? So I actually only got two attacks off there. Okay. I screwed myself. Um, I should have went here. Mm. So I could have went one, two, three, four, five. Right. What I, I, made, I think that's what I meant to do. That's fine. But uh, I already did it. So oh learning that's experience. Fine. But yep. that's what okay. I should have done. I was counting that, and mm -hmm. I, I don't know why I moved backwards. Yeah, because you definitely did. Yeah, you I definitely, definitely did. You definitely went and moved further back. Yeah. Um, okay. So that was Mara, and I think you have one other character to activate? Um, yes. Let's go with... I think that dice is supposed to be Mara's card. That is supposed to be a Mara. Let's go with a bodyguard droid. Or bodyguard. Body guard. Yeah, let's go with the black-based one. And let's see. Go one. Uh, no, let's go with the red one. Sorry. This is red? Yep. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's hindering. Ten. Yep, not hindering. Eleven, twelve. Yep, there we go. It's just this little, like, yep. in and out pattern there. And, and then... Uh, you flipped it and flipped it back and then unflipped it again. No, so. so that was the red one, right? right? Oh, yep. So he should be he <laughs> should be have gone. Yep. Correct. <laughs> uh, yep. And then you're done. And I'm done. Okay. I'm assuming these guys can protect anybody, not just the emperor. Nope. They're emperor's bodyguards. Oh, okay. So um, they have emperor's bodyguard. It's ability, and I can put this on the camera. So essentially, if the emperor would take damage, they can take the damage instead. Ah, okay. If they could bodyguard for anybody, they would be awesome, like the imperial assault version. Right. But they are not. Okay. Got it. <laughs> There's a big reason I don't think anyone ever plays these. Okay. But I just kind of wanted to be themey. No, that's totally fine. And honestly, we tried to keep, for the most, we don't have a lot of figures, so we tried to keep as many of the early figures as possible mm -hmm. so that, like, the there was some kind of balance. Yeah. But I am making a deal with one of our Star Wars TCG guys to get a whole mess of these figures. So for C-3PO's range on his thing, so he could go two, four, five, six, and that would still be within his... I'm really annoying. Come and shoot me instead. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you want him to be also make sure that he's also the closest 
figure. That's the most important thing. Because if he's not the closest figure... You can still attack whomever. Right, because okay. I, I, think, I think on the card, it's... What does the card say? Um, If any... And if and Blah, blah, blah. If an enemy targets an ally within six squares of this character, you may force that enemy to target this character instead of it. Oh, then I guess it doesn't matter. As long okay. as you can have target, yes, you can force him. Uh, and then it has a save 11? Yep. Just on the draw fire, I'm assuming? On the draw fire, for okay. it to work. The, to work. The mm -hmm. draw fire for the... Uh, the draw fire is a save 11, so... For that draw fire to be successful, you have to pull the 11 for it to work. Oh, it doesn't just happen. It's not automatic. Oh, okay. So it's a 50 50 shot of whether yeah, it's it kind of like not. the evade. Okay. Um, all right. So we'll move. It just depends on how annoying he was. Correct. To 100%. force someone to attack him. Right. So two. But yeah, you could put him here and then be like, four. Four. Two, four. Three. I can't get all the way in there. Who can't? Luke. Why not? Because uh, it's... I can't get in there and shoot. Let me put it that way. Well, you could spend a force point and gain... Uh, get two movement points. He only has two points for the whole game. Oh, uh, yeah, but his points are... The only thing he can spend his points on, honestly, I don't think he has any force powers. I think, literally, he can only just spend uh, points to reroll. Yeah, I guess. And honestly, if, if Obi-Wan dies... Which there's a chance because he's engaged with mm -hmm. Gator. Obi Wan grants his Force Spirit to another character with a Force oh, rating, that's and you right. can just give the Force points to any other character. That's right. So if you wanted to give it to that. Luke, you could. You can okay. give it to Han, which is also good. Yeah, because he can just. So oh, he, he, you know, he does the whole Force Spirit thing if he goes uh -huh. down. Yeah. Okay. And we are engaged in a saber battle, so. Yeah, exactly. Who knows if that might happen? Fair enough. So if we go two, four, um. If he's here, he can see Vader, right? Chewie would have, Chewie would just provide Vader cover. Correct. Okay. And Vader would definitely be the closest target. Right. So yes. Um. Okay. So I guess I'll just do that. Okay. So we'll have spend force points to get some extra movement. It's good to have Luke to be able to see Vader because Luke's major ability is like if Vader kills another figure, Luke gets a free attack. Uh, correct. Impulsive shot. If a unique allied character is defeated, this character can make an immediate attack. Right. Yeah. So you Got want it. him to be able to see stuff so that yep. when people die, that makes sense. He's getting off his free thing. Being open to. Um, okay. Oh, is this override? It's open. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I was just using it strictly for override. Oh. Because if it. there's a character there, we know the door is open. That's fair. Got it. Okay. That's, that's why I was. That's using fair. It. Okay. That makes just sense. Just remember which door was specifically yep. override. Totally fine. Yep. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah, so Luke's going to shoot at Vader. Go for it. And, uh... So he just has plus seven attack. Yep. And... And Vader has cover from Chewie. Yep. Twelve. So I have 21. No, 19. 19. Is that how math works? Yeah, that's not going to hit Vader. Vader okay. has a defense of 23. Okay. Plus cover, 27. Oh my gosh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, and then... He is Vader. I mean, I get it. Okay, so that was He's Luke. also one quarter of my squad's points. <laughs> That's fair. And then we'll move Han. So... So Han has accurate shot. Yeah. So, like, as long as he can see a target, he does not care where that target is. Where that target is. Right. So, like, he can, unfortunately... Can pick off like my officers and things that I've hidden back here because oh. he has accurate shot. It's so annoying, but he can literally okay. be like, "Oh, I can see your officer who's like giving you bonuses and letting you attack more." Can he actually see him? He could see him from where he's at. <laughs> okay, that's how this game works. Like, yeah, you can just <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, you can just find little corners to hide okay. and just. And just pew 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 pew. Literally. All right. So I mean, I guess we do that. So, so you have a you. So this officer basically gives another character a free shot. Okay. This officer is the one that gives them plus three attacks, so it makes them have a better, greater chance of hitting. Uh, yeah. Let's now, hit this one though. Is a stormtroop. Oh no, he doesn't get Vader's ability because he's an officer. Okay. Vader's ability is, um, 
trooper followers, and he has a commander effect, so he would not be a follower. Okay. So yes. So yes, we're going to shoot the guy that makes it so they can have a better attack. Better attack. So that would be this guy. Yep. So, all right. So Han rolls plus eight. Okay. On his attack. Uh, yeah. Yep. So roll my die. And um, now here's the other thing. We haven't talked about this. Combined fire. You can combine fire at a target with any target that can see that target. It just has to have line of sight. Oh. It doesn't. So all those guys that are hiding back there that yeah. can see this guy, can any one of them, they, yeah, they, they just have to draw one line and not hit a door. So, so yep, pretty much guess, yeah, all of them. So you could combine fire. That's where the cheap figures come in. You could combine fire with all the cheap figures uh -huh. to boost up an attack to like try to kill a guy. Okay. So does it add like plus one attack to the roll? It or adds how does it plus work? four attack to the roll, but for not damage. One. Yes, for each one. So and it makes it easier to hit, but doesn't easier, increase damage. Correct. Okay, so what's his defense? So his defense is 18 plus two, or plus four, so he's 22 defense. Okay, so he's 22. Yep. And Han has just plus eight. Plus eight. Okay. So he would need a really good hit to hit. Yeah. Um, okay. And he has 30 hit points. Now, if I combine fire, does that mean they skip their turn? Yes, it, it, yes, okay. but it doesn't count as you activating a figure in the terms of, like, you activated... Han would be the only activation. Sure. They would just burn their activation to join him. Okay, got it. So... Then let's combine fire with... And that's honestly one of the best uses of the five-point chuddy figures sure. that you bring a bunch of. Uh-huh, that makes sense. All right, so I guess let's, uh, let's combine with... If you combined with two of them, that's it I would be thinking. 16. So you're rolling, you only need a six or higher to hit with Han Solo. Yeah, so we'll combine with number one and number three up here. Okay, so yeah, just flip them over. We'll roll the die. Oh, oh, you rolled a one. Was it? It looked like a 19. It was a one. Reroll. Yep. That's why you have force points. <laughs> Han's burning his force point. All right, a seven, okay. which is what you needed. So it's going to deal 20 damage to that guy. So we're going to put a red here, red and black die. So he took 20. He has 10 hit points left. Okay. Oh, no. He's dead. So Han Solo's card also has hunting attack, I believe. Yeah, but it's only if they have a not activated. He is not activated yet. He's got a he's got a, a great Oh card. really? So yeah, so he gets plus four attack. Oh. So you really only needed a three or higher and then yeah, and and plus ten damage. Plus ten damage, which actually just murks him. Oh. So yeah, he's dead. That I was thought a good, that guy had gone already. No, no, that was a good attack. I had not gone with him yet. So that's the cunning attack ability. Uh, yep. So I got to be careful now that I know Han can snipe. I might have to hide some more of my uh, officers now. Okay. So that was Luke and Han. I'm done. That was good. Okay. So um, one of these officers. Boy, we got to get to Han Solo. So this officer is probably going to go. And what he's going to do is he's going to can't they can't see that guy he's the closest i don't think i could see i can't see chewbacca so the closest figure this guy could see can't not see r2 probably this guy i think he could see that guy so he'll take a shot at that guy okay and it is just a whopping five attack. Okay. So we'll see what happens. And his defense... I have a 17. Well, his defense is 13. That'll kill him. Yep. Boom. Okay. And then he's going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six. And move next to Palpatine. Okay. Actually, that's kind of scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's move behind. Sure. And then um, he has a commander effect. I can choose um, another unique follow, non-unique follower within six to make a free attack. So two, four, five, six. So I'll have this guy shoot, and this guy. I don't know what this guy could hit. Oops. 
So he definitely can't hit R2. He he actually might not be able to hit anyone. I think you can hit this one. E, 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 yes, barely. So no, he'll roll at that one. And you killed my officer, so this guy's just rolling at a plus four. 13, 17. Yep, dead. No, no, they have, uh, they all have cover, so we add, add plus four to their... I did, it's 17. Is it really? Yep. Oh, what? What's their defense? 13. Oh, it's so low. Okay. All right. <laughs> wow. I did it right. <laughs> yeah. Didn't realize they were that low. Yeah. All right, so that was good. Yeah. And then I'm done. Okay, so I just have these guys left back here, so that was and the, that's it. That was this guy, so he's done. Yeah, I mean, I'm almost out of activations. How many more do you have? So I have uh, this Stormtrooper in the back. Uh-huh. Emperor Palpatine. Uh-huh. And the Royal Guard. So I can pass, because I only have two guys left. Yes, absolutely. So, yes, I will do that, and I will go with the Royal Guard. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. That's technically only nine. Oh, whatever. But yeah. I, that's as far as I want him to go. And then Palpatine's going to go. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine. ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, yes, eleven. Okay. And that was two activations. All right. And now remember, he has force lightning. So let's yeah. put his card up because I know you walked into him. Like, I have a million times. Uh, into his booby traps so much. Yeah. So let's make sure that you forget. know the abilities. So it's your favorite ability, I know. Force Storm. I know. Uh, spend two fours, replaces the attack. Um, range six, do 30 damage to one target and up to two characters adjacent to that target. Okay. Okay, so he... he so it's basically, it's range... Six. Yep, that's for force storm. And then force lightning is uh, two fours, replaces attack. Range six, deal uh, deal thirty damage to one target. That's oh, what I just said. Oh, force storm was the other one I was talking about. Force two replaces attacks twenty damage to all adjacent targets. The bottom one you miss force storm. So that one just does. Oh. There's force lightning and force storm. Okay. Force storm is like if you were to like get adjacent, you could like lightning everything around. Around him. time. Oh, yeah. okay. Got it. All right. Okay. So, my turn. And so he gets a force for activating. Yep. All right. Well. We are. Hmm. Kind of the side. So these, this guy has some bombs that he can throw at range six, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to get him anywhere near to be able to yeah, use Yeah, that's that. going to be rough. So I think the best thing I can do with these guys is get them into a position where they can see as much of the board as possible. Yep, they can see as much of the board as possible so you can combine fire with them, and, you do, and they're not the closest Correct. target for these guys. Correct. So I think I just want to... Uh, Move one. No, so be two. careful. If you move that guy, it'll close the door at the end of his turn. So you want oh, to make okay. him so the to last guy to move. Here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then those guys can't see him at all. Right? Uh, they can see Just him. Just because of this. I think they this. can see him, like some of these back guys. Well, let's see. We can check. I guess um, this I, is five. See if. So this guy, 
That guy can see. That him. guy can see him. This guy can. S this guy can see him. Okay. So the front two guys can see him, okay. the, the, and uh, the other guys would have to move to see him. Okay. So but he would also not be the closest. Well, he. Well, might he be. would be. Yeah, he would be. That's the problem. So, I guess I need to move him back back over here. Yeah. The one, two, three, four, five, six. I would, you could literally, I would probably start moving him, you know, like putting him one, here would be good. One, two, or... three, four. Oh, I think this provides cover. So that would be a good spot for him because yeah. he'd be pretty far away Okay. in cover. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. And then you could put somebody here who could then see like this hole. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. That guy could see everything. Okay. He's in cover. Yep. So they could see things and they're, you know, and then they, uh, definitely not the closest figure. So, yep. Okay. So that was two. Uh huh. So then all I have left is my last little stormtrooper here. He's just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. Okay. All right. And that was this guy. And I think. Because you killed this guy. So, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to confuse myself. Well, yeah, that's that. a fair statement. This? Two. Dead guys. Okay. And then... Are you, do you have any figures left? I do not. Okay, so we're I'm just out. flipping over and rolling initiative. Ghost. And this is the the big initiative roll because there's yes. two uh, two figures engaged with each other. Uh huh. Saber duel. All right. I rolled a twenty. That's my sure. third twenty. You want you you want to roll it? See if you get a twenty, or do you want me to roll it? Because I've been Fine. rolling. 20s. You've been rolling twenties like nonstop. So five. Yeah, not twenty. I'm guessing you want to let me attack first, right? Nope. Come I'm gonna on. go with Vader. I needed to win that roll because I'm just gonna get wrecked. All right. Because I, I can guarantee you, Vader's going. Yeah. And then Palpatine's going before I can split my guys up. Probably. <laughs> so I might lose two big characters. There's right a now. good chance. So Vader has interesting. Oh, I totally forgot. What? When these guys died, I should I needed to do a save roll from Leia. Oh shoot! Yeah, make the rolls. See if you did it. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. They need sixteen. Eleven. It might be irrelevant. Oh, 20. twenty. So you get one back and put them right here because he was uh, one of those guys that uh, died right there that I shot. Yeah. And he had activated already. So. Yeah. All right. Good pull. It. Good hold. To remember that. Yep. All right. All right. Um, so Vader, I'm gonna put his card up here. Um, so he's got a, a bunch of different force powers. The one that I want to use... Hmm. Lightsaber Sleep allows you to attack four targets. But I'd spread out my attack. I still think it's fun to do that. So we're going to do that. Yeah. Lightsaber Sweep. Spend a force. Replaces attacks. Can attack each adjacent enemy one time. And of course, I don't actually know what any of these abilities are, so the fact that I put everybody adjacent to Vader was probably really horrible. It's actually probably better <laughs> for you that I'm spending the lightsaber sweep as opposed to just triple attacking and killing somebody. He can triple attack? He has triple attack. Oh my gosh. Obi-Wan has double attack. Okay. All right, so I'll start with Chewbacca. Okay. 17. Well, I'm so, sure that'll hit. Yeah, uh, he'll take 20. Then we'll roll it. Obi Wan. Fifteen. Um. I have. A, he is twenty defense. I have fifteen attacks, so that would be a thirty. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so twenty. Yep. You said okay. And then Leia. Eight plus five is twenty-three. And Leia has fourteen defense. So, so twenty on Leia, and then Wedge. One. Sure, it'll still hit. Wedge has defensive 17. One. It's an automatic miss. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Critical yeah, miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I did spend a force point to, to do that. Yes. 
So I can't spend a force point to re-roll my miss. Correct. Is the is the point. Yep. And yeah, so I am oh uh I should have four force. He starts with five. Okay. So that was Vader's turn. And now we gotta figure out Palpatine. So his thing just does thirty, right? Yes. Can I use C-3PO to... Do, I don't think I can, right? Because C-3PO is an enemy... Oh, no. If he targets an ally, so does... With an attack? or was It, it just you, says, if an enemy targets an ally within six squares. Yes. You may force that enemy to target this character instead. Yes. So okay. instead of me being able to, like, I want to target Wedge and Lightning Wedge so I can hit both of these right. guys... I can you, tell you to target C-3PO, and then you can only hit C-3PO yeah, and Wedge. Yeah. Which I'm 100% yeah. going to try to do. Right. So, um, unless you're not going in that direction, but I mean, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot one, two, three, four. I mean, that was my plan the whole time was the lightning thirty. So I'm gonna try to lightning wedge. Okay. So I'll we'll try to do the save, save the draw fire with C three PO. Twelve. Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey, you got it. All right. So I'm gonna. <laughs> I need the eleven. Yeah. So I'm gonna lightning C three PO. Yeah. So it's so it's gonna cost 30. me uh, two force, but I get one. And unfortunately, that's going to kill him. Yep. But it is what it is. And it'll do 30 to... He's at least going to save Leia. 30 to Wedge. And then Wedge but his takes 30. Does his Vade prevent damage or attacks? When hit by an attack. Okay. So he's going to take 30. Ghost. Okay. Okay. And then... But it saves Leia, so that's more important. Yeah. So that was two actions. No, that was one action. One, two. Activation. Oh, sorry, activation. So now I'm going to go, and we're going to move yep. Palpatine. Mm-hmm. I don't think we want Palpatine to get attacked by Chewie. Yep. That's uh, my activations. Yep. I'm going to flip his token over, flip his token over, we're mm -hmm. done. All right, so... My thought... Oh, and also, C-3PO died. Yeah. So then Luke gets his ability. He is unique. That's fair. Okay, so yeah. So, impulsive shot. If a unique allied character is defeated, this character can make an immediate attack. So yes, okay. he'll just roll it. And does he get any, uh, like, cunning shot or active? Nope, okay. nothing. He just So is. he could shoot... So... What is he? he could shoot... I think... Vader's the closest, so he can still shoot Vader regardless of cover. Right. Um, these guys, this guy does not have cover, so How he can also just shoot him. defense does Mara have? Mara has 18 defense. And how many hit points? Plus cover. So 22. Points. So it, it'd be tough to shoot Mara murdered. because, um, well, you can't shoot Mara because he doesn't have accurate shot. And Mara is one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So you would have to shoot him or Vader. Those okay. are your options. Yeah, we'll just shoot um, Vader. Or it's he fine. could. That's not true. He could shoot. No, that's true. Vader. Vader yeah. Or... Everybody else is in cover, yeah. so uh, that's fine. We'll just shoot Vader. Okay. So plus seven attack. Yep. So Vader has a twenty-seven defense. Can you combine fire on something like that? Yes, you can. Okay. So then... But the only thing is, I think that you can see that has him is just that one guy. Uh, and this guy. Oh, true. So, and what is yeah, Luke attack with? How much is his damage? Is it at least 20? Uh, yeah, he does 20 damage. Okay. So... I mean, that's not true. You could combine fire with Wedge. You could combine fire with Leia. They yeah. all see. So, yeah. that's not true. They all can combine. Um... And you might want to because, like, Wedge, I think, only has a base 10 attack. Yeah, anyways. he does. So Wedge might not base be a bad. Attack, 10 damage, 8, yeah. So we'll combine with Wedge and we'll you combine the with the Bothan. Yep. So that's plus 8. eight. So he would be uh, 7 plus 8 plus 15. Huh? Uh, 7 plus 8 is 15. Right. Yeah, so it would be 15 on a... 23? 27. 27. Still a lot. 
Okay, I guess we'll throw another guy in there. Does Leia attack for uh plus ten? He attacks for twenty. Yeah, just throw this guy in here. That's what I'm gonna do. And he. So you're rolling at nineteen out of twenty-seven now. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. There we go. There you go. So twenty damage on Vader. Yep. Okay. Okay. And so that was, that was just a free attack. Yeah, yep. it does not count as his action. Correct. So. So now you still have two characters to go. Right. So. I think. We go. Mara has. Twenty hit points. She and she's taking no damage. I was just thinking because like Han and Leia both have advantages if they're attacking someone that hasn't attacked yet. Yep. But Han can shoot her because Han has an yeah. um, accurate shot. So I think we'll just try and team up on Mara. Okay. So yes, Han can shoot Mara where he's at because he has his accurate shot so he can shoot yep. whoever the heck he wants. And actually that rebel trooper back there can also combine fire because he could see it. The one that you moved over yeah. here. Yeah. Um, Although Han's I don't know attacking if he needs it. 11. He's attacking plus 8 plus... He's attacking with plus 12. All right, so 12 on... Mara has a 22 with cover. Okay. So it would be um, a 10. You need a 10 on a 20-sided so die. So it's 15. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I'll just combine fire with this guy to try to... To make it... Make you it only a need thing. a 6 or higher. Okay. Okay. 18. Okay. So Super that would be high. 30 damage to Mara Jade. Correct. Okay. And then, um, so if so, one of the things can you so, like, if Leia, if I move Leia just around Vader here so I don't trigger an attack of opportunity, mm -hmm. can she still shoot at Mara? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, just to, so, like, uh, avoid the cover. Correct. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Yep, go for it. Because I don't have anybody yeah, you, else to you combine never, fire You with. never left adjacent from Vader. Right. So, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I don't have anybody else to combine fire with at the moment. Right. So but I you wanna... want to get her advantageous. Correct, exactly. Because so, she gets plus 10 damage against anybody. All right, that so go for it. At. So, and she actually has mobile attack, too. So I could pop her in and pop her out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she's rolling at just plus seven. Okay, so seven on an 18. Yeah. So it's not, not, not unreasonable. Not impossible, but it's... You got it, All 18. Right. So 30. 30. That kills her. That kills Mara. Oh, Laura. man. RJ down. And then Leia will just pop right back around. Okay. All right. So that was Leia. Good job. Han and Leia teaming up against their sister-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So now it's my turn, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was going to just try to go with Vader, but then you went and won the initiative roll, so that kind yeah. of defeated that plan. Yeah. The two guys I would have gone at, you activated first. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Let's do this. It says the end of this character's turn. Okay. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And he's within 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. so grant this guy an attack. Sure. And this Chewy. guy has to shoot Chewie. Yeah. Yep. He'll shoot Chewie. He's, he's the closest, I think. Yeah, and the only way... I, I guess 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I think so. 
Because Luke is one extra Luke's square. Luke's just one way, where, so yeah, he has to shoot Chewie. It's going to be a really tough shot. I don't think I can combine fire with any of these guys. I just think where they're at, they can't see Chewie. Yeah, because yeah, of the turbo lift here. The turbo Eclipse. lift just pushes them out. Yep. So yeah, so no. Um, so yeah, he just takes a shot at Chewie. Okay. Chewie and just, has defense 17. Plus oh, plus four. four, 21. Yep. Actually, Chewie doesn't have... Oh, he's in cover. Yeah, he's, he's standing in, he's in cover. He's standing in the green yep. square. So let's see what happens. 14 plus 4 is 18. Nope. Not going to do it. Cover saved him. Okay. So, okay. And that was just a free freebie. freebie. Mm -hmm. And that was that the uh, purple one. And then... Gotta, I got to start moving these guys because of the accurate shot. One, two. If I was here, one, two. Four, five, six. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You had to go around. Why? You can't go from here to here. No, I didn't. Oops, here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, eleven twelve. twelve. Oh, I see. One extra square. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's go there, and we'll do the same thing. We'll take okay. another pop shot at Chewy. Sure. 11. It's a miss. And that is the red one, so he's activated. You're up. Okay. So I have my Rebel Troopers R2. Obes, Chewy. Okay, so we'll just do some of our big hitters. So let's go with um, Chewy. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Probably worth him still just doing his momentum shift thing. So he has an ability, if this character has moved this turn, he gets plus four attack and plus ten damage against adjacent enemies. So he'll just kind of move yeah. around. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Shoot and, and shoot, shoot Vader. Vader. Go for it. So attack 12. Yeah. And how much defense does Vader have? 23. So and I got to hit no 11 cover. or higher. Okay. Yeah. So it's 50-50 essentially. You got it. Okay. And so that will do 30, right? It'll do 30. All right, so Vader takes 30, goes to 50 on him. And then let's shoot with Luke. Okay. Uh, he's going to have a harder time shooting. Yeah, he but... might want to shoot one of these guys. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. So, yeah, he'll just go at the Royal Guard. So he has just plus 7, okay. and that's it. And Royal Guards have 17, so you need a 10 or higher. Okay. You got a one. That's a one, so that's a miss. Does he have a force point? Might he as well spend does. It. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Three. Still a miss. All Three. right. Um. And, and have, that was two guys. Does he have double attack? No. Poor Luke. Yep. He's cheap though. I think. I he... guess I could just move up two in here so that Vader doesn't have cover. Yes. For my shots. One hundred percent. That is a good play. Yep. You got it. Okay. And that was your two. That was my two. Um, okay. Jimmy and Luke. So, Vader, uh, what do I have left? Oh, I, have I, storm I have Stormtroopers, because they all got their attacks from these guys. And I have both Royal Guards. And I think at this point, it's not worth using Royal Guards to save people. I think it's time to start going after figures. So let's go... Um, let's go one, two, three... Are they melee only? They're melee only. I think I need to... Um, one, two, three, four. Five, six. Stop there. That's terrible. Four, five, yeah. I mean, you could just double move him into Han's face. Yeah, I thought about that, but then I'd give, I would have to... That's maybe not a bad idea, so Han doesn't accurate shot my things. Um, that's maybe not the worst idea. Let's do you that. You just double One, attack him. two, three. On the um, next turn. 
four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. And he can't attack, so that's him. And then I have another character. Let's go with this one. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, six. Eight, I'll just nine, stop here 10, and attack 11, Luke. 12. Yep, you got him. Attacking Luke. Luke has defense 17. All right. Actually, so, plus four, right? Because Or does melee not get cover bonuses? Melee, no cover. Okay. Yeah. So just 17. Six plus eight is 14. Nope. Miss. Okay. They are done. You're up. Okay. So let's go with Obes. Mm hmm. Obes is going to. I'm um, just looking to see if he wants to use a force power. Um, I don't think he really has one. He, he can heal. He has a couple. He has. Um, he is, I think, repost. Nope. He is force spirit, which she just force That's spirit eight, dies. which is when he dies, he just transfers eight force points to somebody else. He has heal twenty, so he can use two force and heal. Two damage from a yeah. non droid. But it character. replaces an attack, right? Correct. That's terrible. Or he has lightsaber sweep, which is irrelevant. Yeah, it would be good if if he was surrounded. Correct. So just double so attack. Just stand there and that's he, what I'm he thinking. rolls just... the most dice of all your team. I think yep. he rolls like fifteen or fourteen dice. Uh fourteen. So yeah, just yeah. double attack Vader. Yep, I think that's my plan. Alright. And you don't need to you can't combine, he's a melee figure, so yep. just roll. So yeah, there's twenty nine. Okay. So that's 20 more damage on Vader. Yep. So six, and we need a second die here. And then another attack on Vader. 17, that's another 20. All right, so you got 20 more damage on Vader. Mm -hmm. 40 more damage on Vader. Yep. That was Obes. And then the only other guys I have are these ones over here. So... Yeah, because you did a lot of combined firing this turn. Correct. So yeah, so now you probably just want them. Maybe they... It's still going to be really hard. You just probably want to hide them and make them be able to shoot things over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I think we just... I mean, in theory, as long as they're farther away yeah. than these things, they're not going to be yeah. the target of an attack. Yeah, right? one of the jerk store things you could do is you could... Um, uh, that door's closed, so you might want to use R2 first to open that door for you. The back door. Oh, this door? Yep. Yeah, that's fair. And then the, yeah. It's at the end of his turn, though, so he'd be stranded there for another round. But, but that's fine. Yeah. That's, I mean, he doesn't really need to be anywhere. He's, yeah. He doesn't have an attack value. Yeah, he doesn't combine fire with anybody, so that's fair. He can combine fire, I think. I think he's still considered a ranged figure, unless it says melee on him. Unique droid. Yeah, he has a plus a zero attack. So if oh, he can okay. see things, he can combine, he can combine fire. fire. Yeah, so if you like plopped him right here or something, right. he can see like everything. Pretty much anything from there down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's And then fine. you could use him to override this door. Or you could override that door open. Yeah, I was going to say, I could, well, if he's standing here, this door is going to be open. Right. So I could override this one to be closed. Right. Yeah. Yep, and none of you guys can get shot. Correct. Yep. That is a thing. And R2 will be done. Then we'll just move one of these guys. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, if you put them behind that other rebel trooper. Yeah, I'm just thinking if they all just kind of line up back everything. here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just line up back. And they're not going to be the closest, so they will not be able to right. get shot by the stormtroopers. Exactly. I'll have to fire at these guys or move these guys. Correct. All right, so that was two figures two okay. for me. I only have one figure yep, left. Yep, so now these guys can't fire, so now they really got to move. So we might just do that. Let's go... Um, boy. Let's move... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Okay. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm-hmm. 
just in case, mm -hmm. just so you know, this guy has grenades. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, which, thanks for telling me so, that. So, FYI. I'll just leave one there. Yeah, you might one, want two, to not three, clump four, your five, grenade, six, your guys seven, within eight, range nine, six ten, of my 11, guy. 12. <laughs> I didn't know that. So, that was a... You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, maybe... Oh, what do I do with this guy, then? Mm -mm. I kind of want to get to that area. All right, here's what we're going to do. When I mean, you could just, like, come down here, I guess. I didn't realize or, that guy had... Yeah, you can take so that whole thing I'm going to take this turn back. And yep, just, totally fine. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As soon as you were, like, moving seven, a second eight, one right next to this guy, I'm like, he nine, has ten. bombs. <laughs> I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put that one there. Okay. And then the other one, I'm going to just go with... Because then he can see this guy, right? Because yeah. they're adjacent. They're adjacent. Okay. They can just pew pew each other. Right, exactly. Okay. As long as he, the stealth guy doesn't have cover, I can I can see him. So. Hey, Apuk. Nice to see you again, man. Apuk, what's up, my man? All right, so here we got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, That's as far as he can get. That's as far as he can get. Uh, 12. That's fine. <clears throat> and then those guys have gone. So that was number one, number three. Yep. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay. And my last guy is just this guy who's going to just flop himself back here. Yeah. And the last guy I have is here. Mm -hmm. So this guy is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sure. You got it. Okay. And that's the team. Mm -hmm. So we just flip Fresh everything rounds. over. Yeah. So, Apok, we are playing a different Star Wars game tonight. We're actually playing Star Wars Minis by Wizards of the Coast. So, okay. this is flashback to the early 2000s here. 2004, baby. Yeah. Literally, a lot of Rebel Storm figures, mm -hmm. the first set. Yep. Okay, roll for initiative. All right. This is so a big one. My roll first. Your roll first. Don't roll another freaking 20. I rolled a two. Thank you. Fine. You rolled a one. Oh. No, I'm kidding. I was going to say, I'm like. You rolled a six. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was just a little troll in you. Fair enough. Uh, Apuk, this is a game that Gold Leader played when it was originally out. Yeah. Um, I, this is the second game I've ever played. <laughs> yeah. It's not bad though, right? It's not. It's fine. There's certain elements of it, like because it's such an old game, there's certain elements that aren't my favorite like the fact that you can shoot across a board as long as you find these little hidey holes yeah. is a little so, so sad to me unfortunately for you you didn't play this game first you played imperial assault first mm -hmm. and you're so used to like having to roll range correct and honestly the range limitation being not in existent in this game was kind of one of the design flaws yeah. i'm not gonna lie it, you know this game's not perfect but it's a great game. And if you ever, like, did a house rule and you made a house rule where, like, you know, after a certain range, you either it gave your opponent another defensive bonus or you just made it so you could only fire so far. Yeah, I mean, really I think it would things. be, like, if like, you were it, well, over they're... 12 squares, so, like, more than one movement's worth. Yeah. If you were over 12 squares, like, you got plus four, four defense Yeah, exactly. That would make a big difference. Yeah. yeah and then sure. if you were more than 24, you got, like, plus 10 defense. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Anyway, so back to fresh round, and it's I'm first. Woohoo! So let's go with Leia first. Yeah, go with both the advantageous go guys. Go with that, yeah. both the advantageous guys who have yeah. bonuses for attacking things that haven't attacked yet. So yeah. let's go with Leia at Papa Vader. Okay. And she's going to combine with Wedge for sure. Yep. And Maybe so that the... would give her uh, 11. Maybe the boss there? Um, yeah, I think that's fair. He's just a this little... This guy over little... here, yeah. So the boss in... Is... Right here. So here he is, okay. So that gives her... Plus uh, eight, 15. Yeah, 15 15 out, out of... of 23. So that's eight, eight or, or higher. higher. That's, okay, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Let's yeah. try that. 13. All right, there we go. So that will be, what, 30? All right, so Vader's going to use a force power this time since it's 30, uh -huh. and he has deflect. Okay. So lightsaber deflect is one force. When hit by attack, a non-melee attack, this character takes no damage on a save of 11. 
Okay, so you have to roll an 11 or higher to try to deflect it. 11! So he just doesn't take damage. Fudge muffins. Yeah. Um, Apuk, yes, this is kind of like IA where you build an army of points and then um, have your squad. Yeah, this is um, this is like, uh, honestly, this is like the, the first skirmish-based kind of Star Wars game. Yeah. It's the predecessor. It's not the first one. There was a couple others, but yeah. this was the most popular skirmish-based Star Wars game. If you played Imperial Assault, the game is incredibly similar in many aspects, but very different in some of the details. So, in, in, like we were just discussing, there is no range on your attack. If you can see a figure, you can shoot. Yeah. But this game uses a, uh, a D20. Um, it's very heavily influenced by role-playing games. So it's a D20-based system. And in fact, all the all the characters are designed to work with the Wizards of the Coast Star Wars role playing game with their stats and the dice and everything. So it's actually kind of cool in that mm-hmm. sense. All right, so Leia, I think, is just done. I don't know that there's really anything out. Well, I guess she could move, so you don't just lightsaber slash everything. Well, but if she runs away, then, oh, then he she gets, gets a an attack. free attack. That's right. So yeah, she's not going to do that. So she's yeah. just going to be done. You might as well make um, me spend my force point to do the correct, attack against exactly, her. Exactly. Yeah. Or I could just triple attack and attack three digs and not spend a force point, right. which is what I might do. Correct. Vader's almost so, dead, actually. I think we need to try. So Vader's at 80 out of 140. So he has 60 left. To die. Yeah, he's still got a lot. But, I mean, Obi Wan represents 40 damage. Yeah. I can't kill Vader though, so then maybe I just use Han to advantageous attack something else. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, um, Palpy's wide open. I think we advantageous attack Palpy. Yeah. yeah, and there's no rule that says that if uh, you're adjacent with somebody, you have to attack the figure that's adjacent to you. Yeah. So, so Han is going to. I'm pretty activate. sure that's not a rule. And if I'm wrong, someone can tell me, but I don't think that's a rule. <laughs> that's fine. I don't think Derry's watching to correct you on your rules references. <laughs> I mean, I haven't played in a really long time, yeah. but I don't ever remember being like, um, if there's a dude in front of you, you have to attack the dude you're based with. Um, okay, so... So Han... here it is, choosing your target. Before making an attack, choose which enemy the attacking character is targeting. Line of sight, yes. Cover, okay. Character can't target an enemy as cover unless the enemy is the closest. Determining range... Adjacent enemy. If enemies are adjacent to the attacker, it must target one of... Oh! Yes, it is a rule. I didn't hear any of that because you were mumbling so badly. There is a rule. It's been a while. Adjacent enemies. If enemies are adjacent to the attacker, it must target one of those enemies. So, I don't know what... If enemies... Uh So, if if an enemy is adjacent to the attacker, it must target one of those enemies. So if there's an enemy adjacent, you have to attack someone okay. that's in your face. So I have to, so that I have to move Han out of the way Yes, you from have, the adjacent guy. Right. Okay. Which would then trigger an attack of opportunity of that guy against Han for running away. Oh, because he's melee. Yeah. So that is, I get, that's actually, I forgot all about that rule. Uh, clearly. Um, it okay. has been about 15 years. Yeah. Later. So. So now you have to decide whether, so I guess it was smart that I put that guy there because I forgot all about that. Smart by accident. Apparently. Yeah. Um, all right, so then... So those guys, so you know, those Royal Guards only have 30 health. Okay. So you could just go one-shot it. and one-shot it. And what are the, What's their defense? 17. You're attacking at plus 12, 12 so you need so that's, five or yeah, higher. That's fine. You could just one-shot the guy. All right, fine, yeah. We'll shoot the guy in front of him. Yep, all right. So pew, 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 pew. 18. Okay. He's smoked. That's the red-based one. My. All right. So, now we know. I yep. forgot about that. Okay. So, that was my two guys. Yeah. And I'm going to go with Vader before he dies. And it's I am not going dies, I am yeah. not going to use lightsaber sweep. Although, I could attack each adjacent enemy once. I could attack everybody. Yeah. Let's go for it. <laughs> I mean, you can attack five things. Let's do it. I That'll mean, I feel like you just should. <laughs> when, are you ever, when else are you ever going to be able to <laughs> atta- attack five things with Vader? Sounds I awesome. mean, like, never. Yeah. All right, let's <laughs> so attack going Luke, at first? Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. I got a 14, so I'll do 20. Okay. There's a Any bunch of black yet? dice over here, too. And then I'm going to attack Obi-Wan. Okay. And I think Obi-Wan has... Does he have repost? No. No, okay. 
So attack Obi Wan. Seven plus fifteen is twenty two. Yeah, he only has nineteen. So okay. um, it's another twenty. Yep. Okay. And then Princess Leia. Uh-huh. I hit first. I roll a seventeen. That's gonna hit. Me. Okay. And wedge. Three. Eighteen. Oh, he has defense seventeen. Okay. Okay. Um. But this is an attack, so. And it's an attack, but he's adjacent, so it does. He doesn't get to use his evade. Fair, fair enough. So, so that will damage. kill him. Okay. But that will trigger Luke's attack. Yes. The so wedge is murdered. And Luke gets to fire an attack. And Luke gets to do an attack because he's all upset that he killed his buddy Wedge. That's right. And I'm assuming I have to... I can attack anybody. Yes. Okay, I was thinking I might have to attack the attack. Well, no, you have to... uh, Well, no, because we just said that you would have to attack the two anyone's adjacent Adjacent. to you, so Vader or the guard. Okay. You have a greater chance of hitting the guard than you hitting Vader. I do. Um, And nobody else that uh, can combine fire with me at the moment. Actually, those guys could combine fire with you. Here, but not at Vader. But not at Vader. Right. Um, So that's fine. We'll just shoot here and we'll combine. Actually, R2-D2 can see Vader. Can he really? (laughs) Yeah. He can see Vader. But it's still, you're still rolling at like an 11 versus Vader's 27. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, because he only has seven. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Um, but we'll use. But you can use R2. R2 <laughs> to combine fire against this guy because these it. guys can see more things. Yep, exactly. So we're going to flip R2 over yep. and Luke is getting an attack of opportunity. So he's at uh, 11. Yep. Against the Royal Guard. 17. Five. Missed by one. one. Yeah. He doesn't have any force. Yeah, he's out of them. All right. All right. At least it was a free attack that you missed and not like like his main. It always feels worse when it's the main. I guess. Okay. Then... So that so was then his freebie I, attack. So then Vader's so Vader still finishing finishes off, his attack. Yeah, yeah. at Chewbacca. Jeez. 13. So that'll hit Chewie for 20. Six. And Vader's not moving. Because he's just... Yeah. He's not taking four attacks of opportunity to run away. <laughs> uh, do you take opportunities from range? Yeah. Oh, I was just it, thinking it was only melee. Anything. Oh, okay. You, you, if you're adjacent to anybody and you run away... They all get attacks. Oh, so, okay. like, you're, that's the one skill part, I guess. And I totally forgot. I can't believe I forgot about having to be adjacent and, all, and you have to attack them. But I, I've literally played two games in 20 years. Yeah. So. <laughs> it happens. All right. So, let's just go with Obes. So, it was, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was the same comment. Was So, let's just go with Obes, and he's going to just double attack Vader. Go for it. So, um, 14. Yep. So, so 13. 13. So, 27. Yep. So, I'm going to use uh, one of Vader's force points to repost. Okay. And a rep- and so, I'm going to take that 20. There's nothing I can do about that. So, let's change this to a 4. And then, repost essentially says, uh, spend one force. When hit by a melee attack, this character can make an immediate attack against that character. Ah, so, it strikes back. Okay. So Vader's going to make an attack against Obes. 17. So yep. Obes will take 20. 20? Okay. All right. Okay. And then we will just attack again. Yep. 20! Oh, it's so good! <laughs> oh, it's so good! Uh, so 40 damage? That'll kill him. Yes. But I still get to believe I still get to repost. I would think so. So, uh, which I was going to do. Finally, you rolled a 20 for me. You yep. rolled so many for yourself. Miss? Uh, it's a hit. 8 plus 5 is 20. Oh, I thought you had to... Well, I thought it was like a draw fire where you had to... No, it's just I make an attack back. Oh, okay. So it's another 2? 20. 20. Yeah. yeah, tw- yeah. So, 20. But Vader's dead. Woot woot. And Obi-Wan killed him. Love it. With the critical. Uh-huh. That was exciting. So exciting. This makes this game so much fun. Yeah. Just the, the wonky Critical. Dose. 
<laughs> Channeling your inner Vin Diesel. A hundred percent. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was Obes. Yeah. So now let's go with Chewy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Chewy's going to momentum. One, two, three, four. Hold on. You got to think about four. that. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. One, two. So if you if you go oh, here, you'll be adjacent. adjacent. So you would have to go okay. one, so two, two, three, four, five, three, six. Four, five, six. Yeah. Hello, palpy palpy teen. Yeah. All right, Chewy. All right. So Chewy gets this momentum shift, so it's plus four on his attack. So it's base twelve. Yep. And what's his defense? Twenty. So you need an eight. I need an eight or higher. Um. You know what? Let's just make Combine. it really you sure. Need a four. And uh, so you, you need, need a four or higher. Yep. 14. 14. Okay. Right, so, and that'll do, I think it's plus 10 damage, right? It so is 30? plus 10. Yep. So right. 30 damage. So pal Palpatine. 30. Okay. And that was it because it was Obes and yeah. then Dewey. There it was. Okay. All right. So, and. Hmm. What to do now? I gotta kill Chewy. Um, I have a terrible Wookiee voice. <laughs> how much health does Luke have left? Uh, twenty. Twenty. All right. Let's use my royal guard. What's left there? Mm -hmm. Let's attack Luke. Okay. Seven plus a base attack of eight is 15. 17 defense. Oh, boy. Okay. So that will not work. And I'm going to take a gamble here. Let's just use Palpatine, I guess. It will uh, gain a force point when he activates, and he'll spend two, so we'll go down to three. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use Force Storm, replace his attacks, um, deal 20 damage to all adjacent characters. So just 20 damage to two. They're not adjacent because there is a red wall in between. Okay, us. that counts. Okay. Um, all right, so 20 damage to Chewie. Worth it. And those would be my. So he's at um, 90 of 100. Yeah, so those would be my two actions. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so. I think we just want to go with Luke. And by the way, in the next nine minutes, if we don't. Uh, because it's getting kind of late. It is, yeah. If we don't finish in the next nine minutes, we're just going to total up the score. Yep. And then whoever killed the most points will win. Yep. Battle by fire. Normally when you played a match, I think it was one hour. Yeah, that sounds about and right. And then uh, it was whoever had the most points. So we'll We've been go playing for Luke. two hours and 20 minutes. But well, but we were talking a we lot. We had like 45 minutes of yeah. tutorial, so yeah. it's fine. I'm having um, fun. I just kind of forgot how late it was. <laughs> yeah, how late it's getting. Yeah. I did not realize I've been here for two and a half hours. <laughs> Yeah, so Luke is just going to fire at this guy right in front of him. Yep. And what's their defense? Uh, 17. Okay, so we'll combine fire with one of these guys. Okay. So he's rolling at 11 out of 17. 11, yep. And you got six. a 6, which is exactly That's exactly enough. what I needed. So 20 damage yep. on the black. Correct. And he has 10 hit points left. Okay. And then... All you have left is what? One rebel trooper and this guy. Um, yeah, I've got this guy here. Oh. I think we go with this guy before you have a chance to just pop him. Yeah. 
So that is. Oh, and Vader's dead, so they're much easier to hit now. <laughs> they lost. Uh, Vader had a commander Fair effect. Enough. So we'll sh go we'll from. We'll move this guy. No, um, if you move away. You're oh, that's get a free right. Attack. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so we'll shoot this guy first. Just shoot. Okay. And he is an attack five. Okay. And nobody can combine fire. So. Yep. So my guy has a defensive sixteen. So you need an eleven. Okay. Fifty-fifty. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, that'll kill him. They only have uh, ten hit points. Yep. So that's a dead stormtrooper. That's number three. Okay. So we're just gonna remove him from the table. So we'll go. So we might just go Into two, cover. Yeah. four. Yeah, go for it. That's smart. All right. Because then you can't see him anymore. Uh, no, I would have to uh, get a little closer. Well, six. Now you can't ever, unless you go into the cover. Right? Yes, I, yeah, there's no way to prevent me from seeing him. But okay. that's still the best place to put him. Yep. Regardless. Yeah, so. I make it so you have to move into cover yep. if you want to go yep. get him. you did it right. Okay. Uh, okay. So that was one guy, and then do I even have anybody else? You had I have this one lone, rebel guy. One rebel trooper. Um, all right. I mean, he can take a pop shot. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's this, this guy one. has basically has has almost fine. no cover. I think. No, well, he has got some cover. Well, he's like. the only one that he can see though. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, what I'm saying is, I think because yeah. Because he clips that. Yeah. 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 You would have to be like <clears> this <throat> line yeah. to have no cover. But That's fine. You can still. You still roll. You get if you get. A I critical, mean, I guess he, he could just he could move. He could move One. here. Yes, absolutely. And still be like covery, and then and he, shoot. And this would have no cover, so yep. it would be whatever so you roll plus attack five. Okay, fifteen twenty. 20. All right, and that is yeah, that'll kill this guy. Nice. Good job, Rebel Trieber. Yeah. Woot woot. Good job. Okay. Okay. You did. Oh man. My guards are going down. Whole team's going down. Okay. And I'm out. No more fingers. Fair fingers. enough. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Cover is kind of... Luxury at this point. <clears throat> Need to take shots. Let's do... Do a shot on Chewbacca with uh, this guy. Yep. He's only got 10 hit points left, so... Yeah, so we'll take a shot with him. And um, we'll combine fire with the, this guy hiding back here. So that's okay. uh, this one. <clears throat> so it is a 11 on Chewie's... 17. 17 plus 4 because he has covers. 21. So I need okay. a 10. 19. Okay. 10 on Chewie. That kills Chewie. Okay. And then... Up. Uh Luke. Oh, that's right. It's unlimited range too, right? Yeah. Yeah. If a unique ally character is defeated. Smart. Go for it. Uh, Luke's going to just sh shoot at Palpatine. So Luke, I think, could do some. Can he? Sh can he see? Is he, Is that guy in cover? I think he would, because you're kind of clipping the corner of this. To get to some of these other spots in this base. Yeah, he's in cover. <laughs> that guy's in cover. Everyone's so covered. Palpatine. Palpatine's, I think, no my best cover. bet. Yeah. So seven on a twenty. Yep. It is what it is. Eleven. Nope. Okay. It's worth a shot. Yeah. All right, and so um, this guy still has an activation. He can like move and stuff. Um, because he just shot. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, he's kind of hidden there. Mm -hmm. You can see things. I think he'll just stay. Yep. Um, but he's six away, so this guy gets a free attack. Mm -hmm. And this guy is going to shoot. Let's shoot at Luke. Sure. Luke's in cover, though. Yep. So he'll combine fire with this amigo. Okay. 
Which is so number two. Luke has defense twenty one. Okay. So I'm ruling at a four at an eight. Okay. Plus fifteen. Oh, just barely. Barely. All right, how much damage? Uh they only do ten. Okay. And then so that was <clears throat> this guy's activation because he shot. And then he gave then this guy a free guy one. Shot. And yep. this guy used a combined fire. Yep. And so then I got this guy left. Mm -hmm. Who who shoot at Luke again? Okay. No, he's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's just seven at that point. Sure. He's gonna hang out here. And one, two, three. He's gonna give this guy a shot at this guy. You can't see him because he's in cover, right? He's in cover. Um, he is stealth? Yeah, stealth says what? If this character has cover, he does not count as the nearest enemy for an attacker farther than oh, farther than six squares away. Right. Yes. Oh. I thought I did that right. You did do that right. Okay, never mind. All right, so I'm getting a free attack here. Yep. So just uh, a four attack. Okay. 20. Oh, critical. So he takes 20 damage. Okay. Well. Doesn't kill him. Uh, Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't have any damage yet. I don't think I've hit him yet. You haven't. Okay, so 20 damage. Okay. You got it. <clears throat> All right. And that was my two actions. So both of my officers are now activated. Okay. You're up. I'm out of figures. Oh, you're out of figures. Okay, so all I have left is this guy, because mm -hmm. he was the officer activation. Mm -hmm. And he's just going to shoot that same dude. Yep. 15. 19. Yeah, he's dead. It only does 10 oh, damage. Oh, he only does 10 now, yeah. It's still not dead. So it's still not dead. And 10 away. Yeah. All right. And, and uh, it's 1030, so yeah. I think we can safely, I think you beat me. I don't know. It's pretty close. So I've got 53 on Vader. Plus 20 is 73. And then you've got an officer. So 73 plus 14 is 87. And then uh, 98. And I have 109 dead. You, I have 55 dead. Yeah. So, so yes. Yeah. You, you. But I have a lot of like. Obes has 10 health points, hit points left. Luke has 10 hit points left. Leia has 10 hit points yeah. left. Well, it's because this was, guy has 10 hit points I, left. <laughs> I couldn't resist the Vader sweeping. The the yeah. I, the better play was probably to uh, just triple attack. That's some of my force points on. On the sweep. And just try to take something and out. And try to take something out and then, yeah, repo and then repost. Yeah, that's fair. Against Obi Wan. Yeah. But honestly, it was just too much fun. I mean, how can you not attack five things with Vader? Right. Like, it was just awesome. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah just it was shenanigans. very cool. So. But yeah, I mean, one more turn and like things were going down. Like all of these guys were going to be dead at the next round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was it was a really good time. It so, fun memories. I'm, we'll we'll do this again as I especially as I have acquired a couple more uh, miniatures. Uh, luckily, one the, of the guys uh, uh, one of the guys from the Star Wars TCG group, uh -huh. um, Darth Omen, has a very large collection that he's going to give us for a very good deal. Awesome. And, Thanks, Darth Omen. And he's going to ship it all up. And I just I just got to send him the cash. Cool. Um, well, the moment was definitely Obes rolling the critical to kill. Oh, that was Vader. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> It was so much fun. That was the moment. <laughs> we had a lot of criticals in this game. Yeah, you rolled 20s like a beast. Yeah, but yeah. hey, that's what makes sometimes it Sometimes it happens. It's yeah. swingy. The dice, the force gods giveth, and then they sometimes take it away. Yeah, the, the critical back at me was bad. So. <laughs> yep. All right, well, uh, good times, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this new Star Wars game that we pulled off the shelf. And as always, make sure to tune in next week for our... Uh, next star wars wednesday yeah make sure that uh we're your home base for playing games because uh we're here every wednesday for star wars um we post all the videos and uh if you have the time to give a like and subscribe we'd really appreciate it if not we'll see you uh here for another game night